we go, I suppose. Uh, oh, it's... Papa Smurf. Oh, <laughs> yes. I've gotten a slight idea what to do from uh, Five Night. But first of all, introductions. Hello, this. Welcome to another art stream, number 13. Maybe this will be the unlucky number. Oh boy, I never know. There might be horrors, there might be terrors, there might be the worst of all things. Yes, random shit. Canadian. Yes. <laughs> Again, horrible terrors from the darkest void of voids, I guess. You are entering a dimension not of sight and sound, but of mind. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to stop there before we hit the copyright infringement wall. <laughs> I know. Pain. So, so, good afternoon, good morning, hello, good evening, all. Uh, my name is Ardent Party. I'm here with my good friend Trim's Art Shack, presenting yet another art stream. Uh, sorry to jump all over you, Trim, but let's get this thing rolling. That's good. And uh, we are joined by, oh, the inimitable Bleach Demon has a, has arrived. And hey! we, also have, we also have a Belgian author with us today. That is uh, Christopher Everard. Oh, the swamp French have struck again. We got we got uh, two of Europe and two of America. I, I'm yeah, putting you in America. North America and the best of Europe. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, our uh, Australian, uh, our token Australian, is not available today, and uh, will not be joining us. So, if you were looking forward to enjoying Bezik's uh, hilarious accent, he's not available. <laughs> you you mean the like accent roast of him uh... in absentia as much as I possibly can. <laughs> The accent of convicts? Yes. <laughs> well, I, I can't really say that because Newfoundland started off as a penal colony as well, and it would be kind of poking fingers at myself at the same time. A pen is good on you? A pen? Yes. <laughs> get your head oh, out of the gutter. Don't get me started he... swearing in French this early in the stream. <laughs> say some French He's... swears for the fun of it. Uh, un Quebecois, uh, uh, neck, Jack Collis. What the fuck did he say there? That one didn't sound like a curse word. It's, uh, it's Quebecois. Uh, it is, in fact, Quebecois, yeah. The which, fuck? Which, which is one of the vilest curse words known to man. Yes. Did he say that you're, did you say you're from Quebec? I did not, in fact. What oh. I said was, uh, what it translates it, to uh, is tabernacle. Oh, he said a uh, curse recall... word in, in Quebecois like uh, fuck or damned or something like that. Oh, okay. Yes. It's, yeah, uh, uh, it's the like uh, Swiss knife uh, insult or curse words. They, they insult it everywhere. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Uh, if I wanted to call someone a, uh, a dung head in uh, Quebecois French, and I think this may be true for French universally, I would call them uh, tête de merde. <laughs> I, I been... thought it was uh, Trudeau. We, he is uh, Mr. Le Pen. No, 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 that, the mail. that is uh, <laughs> Trudeau is what you call a unit. <laughs> a unit? A unit. Unit. Oh, yes. Well, I, ha I have a good friend who has titled herself Eunuch, and uh, I would not insult her by applying that uh, yeah. title to Trudeau. Neuter no, no, she, she does it because she is funny. But uh, she, she's taken it as a title and funny name. Trudeau is one. Very true. <laughs> There's a yes, difference yes. between oh. having fun and being one. And just to greet those uh, wonderful friends of the stream who are in chat, I will say hello to Student of History and Earl Testicky, please. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining us. Nice balls. <laughs> <laughs> and Trim is clearly drawing a uh, vicious, vicious uh, garden gnome who's a member of the Crips. Uh, uh, Crips. <laughs> well... <laughs> Oh, no, wait, he's red. It blood, blood. Wait, wait, wait. Have, have you read uh, Monster Hunter then? Uh, not for quite a while, actually, to be honest. No, but you understand where I'm going with this? Uh, no. What? I mean, honest, oh, that is, that's kind of fun because this is actually... Uh, the gnomes in Monster Hunter International, or rather Monster Hunter Vendetta, they have, uh, since they left Scandinavia, adopted the... Uh, noble ghetto culture of America. Ah, uh, yes, okay, I do remember now the uh, the visit to the gnome hood. Yes! <laughs> Honestly, one of the best parts of the book is like, you have to fight them and then a bunch of fucking midgets kick his ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, it's glorious. Mm. Oh, I mean, uh, it, Prime it, Knight has popped in. Hello, Prime. Hey! So, dwarf tossing uh, goes ghetto. Gotcha. Yes. Dwarf tossing yeah, goes yeah. ghetto, but don't call him a garden gnome because apparently they'll start pointing 22 at you. Small caliber yeah, rounds. Yeah. The Monster Hunter uh, International books are, are quite a good time. I love them. You, you have to love any series that includes mercenaries who hire ogres to fly hinds. <laughs> no, they're troll and they're orcs. The uh, and also oh, they sorry, have internet yes. troll as an IT department. Ah, uh, yes, also true. <laughs> Melvin is leaked <laughs> because in Monster Hunter, internet trolls are actual trolls. Do they speak in a Russian accent? I can't remember. No, they speak, don't speak in Russian accent. They speak in fucking early 2000 broken leak speech. Ah, uh, okay. So, Russian. Uh, <laughs> it's less it's understandable than Russian. Yeah. <laughs> uh, student of History is asking what series we're talking about. It's called Monster Hunter International. And uh, uh, you mentioned Monster Hunter Vendetta. Is that a different series, Trim? Uh, no, it, the series is called Monster Hunter. The first book is called International because it's uh, the best way to avoid people being confused from the game series. Uh, oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the, the second book is... Uh, no, it's a book series. Uh, Vendetta okay. is the sequel to International. Okay. I think I've read those two books, then. Yep. Uh, yeah, they're definitely worth reading, uh, student. Oh, yeah. I, I don't remember who advised them to me. Either it was Shade Master, or I think it was Shade I Master. It was me, actually. Oh, you! Yeah, I guess you were in the we in were, the stream, weren't you? Yeah, we were talking about the Dresden Files, and we were talking about books similar to it, and I suggested Monster Hunter International. Yeah, thank you for the recommendation, because fuck oh, me, absolutely. It's, it's as glorious as the Dresden Files, but on a different level. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, much more... Uh, militaristic but it's still ur that urban fantasy urban horror sort of deal yeah and you also get the feeling of uh why dressed you know you get the feeling of why the supernatural and how dressed is afraid of humanity yes because you I, can I easily believe love... one to be in the same universe yeah i i do love those uh like some of the reddit posts and things uh where humanity wins everything <laughs> the uh the idea that an alien invasion could occur and humanity would be screwed, uh, kind of runs up against a bit of problems when you add in people like the Rednecks or the Hillbillies who'd go, hmm, wonder what an alien burger tastes like. Yeah, that, that is just, you know, the, the entire main cast is just stationed in Alabama in a fucking military compound. A private yeah. military compound, and everyone is like that, ah, shit, here come the feds. I mean, I, I can tell you exactly what uh, an alien tastes like. It tastes like Taco Tuesday. <laughs> Different kind of alien, but I like where your head's at. <laughs> <laughs> Another fun part in uh, the second book is that a vampire goes to Mexican prison. As I and at, two vampires go to Mexican prison, and then one of the vampires is like, "How do you feel for some Mexican?" <laughs> <laughs> and then and then they then they rip him out of the fucking cage. Never to be seen again. And the reason well, why I'm going for one of these tom days... ...while I show this out. Ah, yes. Ardent is the, destin, uh, is the designated shiller, so he does that. And, in fact. Okay. So, so yeah. It's kind of like the uh, Sarah Palin of shilling. Instead of drill baby drill, it's shill baby shill. Pretty much. Yeah, and I look... I look way worse in lipstick than a pit bull. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to just... say Sarah Palin is hot in any kind of way, shape, or form. She's actually quite... Ugh. Well, she uh, you you, quite you haven't a... uh, looked at her old pictures then, Grim. Yeah, but they're old yeah, pictures. She was, uh, she was definitely political MILF level. Oh, okay. I mean, kind so, kind of, like, Steve uh, Jensen, there... then. I like Tulsi Gabbard kind of Ooh. levels. Okay, Tulsi is a ten out of ten. Would would uh, would recommend? Would, would vote for? Yes, <laughs> ten out of ten. Would vote especially for especially now, especially now. <laughs> anyway, away from politics. Thank you. Please, please. So I'm being repressed. 
Everybody is being repressed. And depressed. <laughs> Get it? Nope. Like, like the plague. Too. Yes. Ah, yes, plague. Let's see. So I'm not really I'm not really familiar with the whole uh, quote unquote ghetto culture. So I'm just giving him like hands down on his hips, and then we'll see where we go from there. That should be down on his knees then, if you're going for the full <laughs> ghetto look. Oh, he's he, this guy is not that far up in the ranking system yet, so I guess. Uh, you know, uh, no, no, no. So. But that means his uh, trousers need to be lower. Uh. Yes. For presenting uh, like so a mandrel. So it's only the uh, <laughs> presenting like a mandrel. It's only the uh, the big bosses of the gangs who get to wear their pants actually at waist level then. Exactly. Huh. They they get to run and, and escape. Where oh, you know, the lower oh. rank, they they run trip over their own shit and then they gotta hoist it up while they're getting their ass tased until they piss. <laughs> okay, I guess this guy has to be up in the uh, high levels then. Here you go. Sunglasses, because I guess sunglasses are cool. We're working on the 80s uh, style here. Ladies and gentlemen. Especially at night. My sunglasses at night. <laughs> so I can, so I can. Yeah, I, I, I keep forgetting that we're on YouTube, and I don't know exactly where I can stop before we hit that copyright infringement wall. Me <laughs> either. I haven't really tried taking that chance quite yet. Well, see, we're doing it. the singing. We're not playing the music, so that that I think is the workaround. Yes, yeah, some people would, uh, in a you know normal functioning world, say, you know, that, that's okay, that's okay. But this is YouTube. Also true. Uh -huh. So, uh, by the way, I wondered your uh, future wife to be. Uh, she wanted a. Did you want an, an avatar too? Um, she. Was actually asking about it. Yes. Cool. Well, I am. I am open for negotiations. Ah, well, I will certainly put you two in contact. Hell yeah. Uh, just to return to our chat here, Earl says, "Hey, wankers. Hello, Earl. Hey, oh, wanker that you are." <laughs> uh, Earl. Earl see. knows me too well. Apparently, I've been doing that way too often in public. Ah, I see. Yeah, you, you may want to put uh, you may want to put a bit of a stop to that. It is no not November. No what now? I don't believe in that bullshit. <laughs> I am a firm believer in it. Why do you think I have a girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's kind of an interesting uh, day. Student student of history. I guess this is a response to the alien invasion thing. He uh, he says you mean when the Appalachian Americans are suddenly given a green light for a target rich environment? If Ooh. <laughs> Oh, now that's a good one. Uh, Prime Knight uh, kind of referencing the Schilling thing, Schiller's list. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. He, also, he also points out he wouldn't mind Monica Lewinsky. I don't know what she looks like these days, but back then, oh yeah, she was oh, definitely yeah. my type. Uh, Her nose says, y'all voting for Kami Mami out there. LOL, keep that up. I'm going to have to send y'all some beanies. <laughs> okay, <laughs> going, oh, wow. I am bald, so if I put the beanie on, it could be a very close impersonation. <laughs> Oh, I I could just see it now. Our, our, you should do just a uh, a parody of Beanie Man stream. <laughs> oh, God. I, I've been called the reverse sticks because I'm kind of chunky, loud, and bald. So, yeah, <laughs> uh, if I put a beanie on and just start swearing and screaming at the camera, it will be basically the inverse Beanie Man. <laughs> oh, and, and, and you've got to be like, there's no civil war! Oh yeah, no, there's not going to be a war. Everybody settle the fuck down. <laughs> Isn't that Razor Fist? No, no. The, yeah. You know how Tim Beanie Man Cool is always, oh, there's got to be a civil war. It's like, yeah, we, we got to counter that somehow. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> you know, there, there's just so many memes that come off of uh, YouTube commentators that need to be exploited, but nobody ever does. Because they're afraid of getting yeeted by the Susan. No, no, no. It's like, you don't even have to do it on YouTube. I, I'd, I'd love to see parodies of some of these people. 
Yeah, I remember uh, when Tim Pool first when I first started watching Tim Pool, he had um, uh, the little bill or not billboard uh, tack board behind him, and he'd put his stories up there and things like that. And I mean, that would be easy enough for me to do something like that. I even have a green screen blanket I could use. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that would be fantastic. I know this is wrong, yeah, but you, whenever you, I see Tim Pool, I expect him to have a. He's. I expect him to speak in a similar manner as to uh, Ben Shapiro. I I don't know if I could do a, a reasonable impersonation of either of their voices. There's okay, similar to it. I think uh, I know how to up your uh, Beanie Man game. So you okay. need to do only articles that are uh, on the Babylon B <laughs> and refer to them as panty guard certified. Oh, God. <laughs> this might be a very interesting idea for a future oh, video. Order. Do it. Fucking do this it. Is going, this is going to be bad. <laughs> hey, should I make an impression of H3H3 then? Oh, God, no. Oh, I, mean, I don't think right. I don't think even you could act that cucked. <laughs> yeah, and unless you you have sudden self destructive behavior, but oh, although it could work because you know, you you just have to be like yeah you know, the the to do the parody right, like the nicest most humble complimentary guy to people that you don't like. <laughs> Oh. Okay, shilling is completed. Hey! Ardent has done his duty. Yes. Thank you for joining yeah, Ardent. I'll see you later. Out. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, thanks for kicking me out. I see how it is. Nah, I'm just kidding with you. <laughs> oh, I'm very aware. Uh, and back to the throne room. Watch stream. Excellent. Oak. Okay. Hooray! I, I think Everard okay. needs to do a uh, parody of Sam Hyde. What? Mm. Hmm. <laughs> I couldn't get away with that. <laughs> Who the fuck is Sam Hyde again? Oh come on, man! <laughs> Sorry, but you my... know the thing, the guy. Oh, oh, the the thing, <laughs> the guy. The candy man. Uh, the one who's obsessed with the sun piker. Who wants oh, to wear his clothes. Uh, never, never mind. And his yeah. skin has, a, <laughs> and his skin has a coat, as the ancient Irish did. <laughs> I'm not sure what you are talking about. Oh god! Oh, you will. We 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 did get Everard educated then. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, it's it's just uh, depending on the level anyway. of politics we're getting into here, though. No, um, no, this this no, isn't politics. Really. This is just this is... internet spurgery. Yes. Yeah. This is this is this is just like comedy. Yes. Embrace it. Yes. Embrace the spurg. Everard, class is in session. Prepare your Belgian ass. What? Yeah. What do you want? I'm just doing a thumbnail. <laughs> I, I, I think Everard's going, going to, get, to cover uh, Samuel Langhorn Clements and Samuel yes. Hyde. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Trim is just traumatized from the stream the other day. Oh, I wasn't traumatized from that. I've had worse. Mark, Mark Twain is, is tired of this illiteracy bullshit. Hey, I'm still looking forward for that the stream where uh, you and Bess are, are gonna read Mark Twain for me. That's gonna be a nice one. Oh, and he did yeah, say I it's a stream. Gone. They said it's a stream, and I'm holding you to that. So that I'm not gonna read Mark Twain because I don't have to. They promised to do it for me. So okay, fine. I've I've already gone to uh, a couple of public domain sources and found some Mark Twain that I can read. Mm, so yeah, I will be, nice. be doing uh, some. Sort of a video or stream relating to that. Well, That's uh, a the hurry. jumping frog of uh, Calaveras County. Now, there, there's a classic. What was that called? The the the, the jumping frog of Ca Calaveras County, or some something along those lines. A fantastic short story. Well, if it's short, I'll definitely read it soon. The yep. celebrated jumping frog of Calaveras County. There we go. Oh, and I'd have to read that in a southern accent because he catched a frog one day. <laughs> he catched a frog one day, then he cooked it and ate it. 
Was it the no. gift mug? <laughs> Alex Jones. No, this was before the, the the chemicals were turning the frogs uh, alphabet. Before they became inclusive. Yes. Oh, hello, Maverick. Uh, or as you've noted, uh, Promethean Heels on your alt. Nice to see hello. you. Hello. Welcome, uh, you Promethean. Are interested. And Chain Master, and... too. Hell yeah. Oh, excellent. Uh, that's, uh, that's very good. Welcome, um, everybody. Thank you for joining. Yeah. We're just so, Trim, why do you do? Why do you draw a a, a dwarf from Wishlist? It's a, not a dwarf <laughs> from Wishlist, but it's a, basically a uh, a noble gnome of uh, of noble birth who has embraced the nobler. Shall we? Say, I'm just gonna keep going with this bullshit because, eh, why not? Uh, who has embraced the noble hip hop culture of America? So he's from Chicago. Yeah, Actually, so Birmingham is, is, is culturally enriched. enriched. Yes, yes. <laughs> Probably Alabama? has gold teeth too. Nah, Alabama. The mercenaries who fight vampires are from there. Uh, and the shade master says he's listening while getting homework done. How very, very multitasking of you! Wow, the fuck is multitasking? <laughs> uh, yeah, multitasking is a thing men do where they do multiple things at the same time, but badly. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> sounds painful. Speaking speaking of doing multiple things at the same time, I've been invited onto the Discord and Dragons uh stream tonight. Again. With, with our friend Yiz the Eunuch, who I am of course shilling in chat. Yeah, um, sure. I, and, I will give everyone a heads up. It is extremely political, generally very, very spicy, and occasionally yeet it off of YouTube before we actually finish the stream. Oh, this so, is good then. Uh, yeah, you, you won't necessarily... Yeah, and Shade Master points out, I didn't say I was doing it well. <laughs> <laughs> and Earl says he's from Alabama, so he Hell yeah. well have been to the compound. <laughs> he better have been to the compound. Numadon uh, says he's still at work running two chemical plants. Uh, Ooh, again, uh, again, I'll done sh shield me on... Uh... On um, oh, yes, on yes. because yes, I want to, <laughs> I want to invite her. <laughs> <sighs> and speaking of our Belgian friend, I will in fact show you as well since you're here in chat, and it would be rude of me not to. It would be very un-Canadian of you. Oh, how dare you! <laughs> you betcha, Canada. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh wait, that's North Dakota. <laughs> Honestly, is there even a difference? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. the, yeah. there, there's more of a Scandi, like degenerate Scandi accent in North Dakota and Minnesota. Cost not good in the world, you didn't have a you bring. What in the name that... of gods was that? <laughs> Ten bucks to whoever figures that one out. No, Norwegian, I guess. Yeah. I'm, I'm not paying you I'm 10 bucks for the know. answer. Yeah. I think the only one here would be able to, uh, who actually would know that, would be Prime Knight, and I think he got it too. <laughs> I want to, I want to show you one of my, uh, my future thumbnail for a video I just made. Yeah, uh, I can't share images on my stream, unfortunately, because I, I'm not that technically adept. Sorry. Uh, what, what's going on with the throne room? Why can I? Oh, you stupid! Can't say that on stream. I, I will show it to the Canadian then. What has happened? Thank you for the time. <laughs> I'm just control, I'm trying to find links for shilling. <laughs> no, no, it's my, it's one of my future thumbnail. I wanted to show my masterpiece. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Down with Wisconsin. That is, uh, that is nice. I will, uh, I will definitely bring that up, copy that, and that is going directly into the show chat. Where? <laughs> because if if we can't laugh at each other, we can't do anything good. Where, uh, where, where did he post it? It's already there. Ah, there go, oh, that's adorable. Oh my! Um, well, very proud friend, of my. Of are me. you uh, wrenched in the chat for trim? <clears throat> I show it to you, the to uh, Bleach. Uh, Bleach, are Fox you? Uh, 
He should be, yeah. but I think he is just driving to work from work. Ah, uh, that would explain the bonsai. He's about to make an intersection. <laughs> yes. You need to do a battle cry, Second America. Wisconsin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will continue to hunt for uh, links for everybody then. Well, you don't have to link my channel this time, at least, well, because we're on that, my that, channel. That at least is obvious, yes. Yes. Though, does, Be does Besnick deserve a shill when he's not here? No. Oh, well, no. you know, he, he kind of let the side down by not showing up. But yeah, and he kind of ditched did... it on us la on the last half hour. So yeah, that's, that's and he, true, he did not invite but... me for golf. Oh, yeah. Uh, also true. Shame. Well, he, he did kind of send the invite out generally, but not particularly well. Yeah, no, not enough, not enough. No, no, we are we are displeased with our uh, our friend here. We're displeased with our. But Canadian. one thing we will show because we're all involved with it is the ever loving and ever black pilling Sultans of Chatelet podcast. Yay! Only For because we are. In I don't know. I'm a boomer. I'll get these terms right one of these days, maybe. <laughs> It's a horrible, <laughs> dreadful place where you lose the will to live while laughing as well. So, you know, it's uh, it's kind of good. But wait, there is more. <laughs> no, <laughs> but wait, it, but it, wait gets it gets worse. Yeah, it's yeah. a good worse. Yeah. Oh, but yeah, if you tough. donate now, you get to redirect for 30 seconds. <laughs> and then back to the black suppositories. <laughs> oh, there we go. I found the Bleach Demon channel. If you want white suppositories, just go on Discord and Monkey's channel, and they'll fix you up. They'll fix you up. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah. the monkeys Sometimes, if they'd ever get off their ass and actually do the damn show. The monkey likes... Yeah. The monkey's kind of colorblind, though. He tends to go for gray rather than white. He's inclusive yeah, like he's, that. He's He's got an odd sense of humor, and unfortunately that tends to manifest itself by him not actually posting white pills. <laughs> yeah, he is a Scottish uh, now, man. the... The last link I have posted is to the inimitable Bleach Demons channel, and it is criminally undersubscribed at 23 subscribers. Get over there and sh throw that man a sub. What give him, wrong? give, uh, give Bleach some love. I mean, it'll give, uh, take a look at his midterm well, street. He's American. That was pretty he fucking love funny. Get. I was right. there. I was there, and it was funny. Now I will say my uh, prediction uh, stream on Rumble. Got 955 views, so Ooh, excellent. I'm I'm doing well there, but the other stuff eh, could, could use uh, a, a few eyes on from time to time. But, eh, I'm I'm not trying to monetize anything, so maybe that's my my uh, Achilles heel because eh, I just do it for fun. I mean, that's why you should do this. Do it for fun, and then profit comes later if you if you're good enough. No, I'm good enough. I just uh, I'm kind of lazy about it. Well, it works too. <laughs> I mean, being lazy—that's sort of all I am. My favorite sin is sloth and gluttony and wrath. And you know, actually, I'm Sloth, a big fan of all. I'm a big fan of all seven, actually. <laughs> uh, Somebody say sure. something about Blake Seven. Blake Seven. Oh, is that something you haven't heard of? That was uh, kind of British Star Trek. Would <laughs> be a good way to put that. Um, it's it's actually a very good show, uh, or at least I thought it was. Uh, and the Shade Master says he is already, in fact, sub to Zid based demon. Ooh. Excellent. Oh, show the debunking fifth estate vid. Yes, I absolutely should do that, Shade Master. That is uh, by, by the way, Blish, I, I did not understand. So the <clears throat> the midterm election I finished, or what what happened? I don't, I didn't understand. Uh, most of America so, doesn't but, understand. <laughs> yeah, I, that's the thing. It's uh, and, and we'll we'll not go into much uh, because this is not my channel. Uh, but long story short, uh, just just imagine a. a circus freak show that just kept going far too long okay especially with the circus music of doo -doo 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 yeah, yeah that, that's yeah. that's the whole election and it turns show. out every single clown either was politics. pennywise or that homicidal clown from the 80s that was pennywise or are you thinking killer clowns from outer space uh no i was thinking about the actual killer clown who Got a bit too touchy with his with his victims. Oh, John Wayne Gacy. 
Pretty much. There we go. Yeah. I mean, it's better than uh, Jeffrey Dahmer and a t taste of pride. <laughs> <laughs> That's a spicy meat of all right there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Am I wrong? <laughs> Uh, no, no. It's not the uh, worst for... series on Netflix either. Just gotta say, it's kind of weird like that. I'm not a huge fan of that whole uh, true crime stuff, but I like my my escapism far more escapist. Oh yeah. Uh, just to let everyone in on a little bit of inside baseball, which is a term I picked up from the Storm and Mormon. Uh, the uh, last link that I posted was to a video that myself, the Storm and Mormon, and the uh, wonderful Aiden Paladin. Uh, uh, cor corroborated, collaborated, collaborated on uh, to talk about a fifth estate hit piece on the LDS church. Ooh. Oh. And I thought it was uh, extremely uh, in depth. Uh, it was very great to have Aiden on. She's got the academic background. Uh, and it was excellent to do it on the Storm and Mormons channel uh, because that actually really, really. Also, I'm going to point out, Shade Master, I didn't need to shill that for you. You have a wrench. <laughs> <laughs> Quit making other people do your job. I gave shill it to him, but I, we I gave it to him the last him. time we were streaming, and I'm still kind of waiting for him to pop in on another stream one day, but you never know. Maybe it's too important for me now. Ah, yes, multitasking. <laughs> the excuse of, one, of everyone. <laughs> hey, hey. Also, I'm sorry for not being able to join in on that stream. I was uh, busy with Saturday stuff at home. And I'm one sorry. final question uh, for you, Blish. Sorry. So the election was, uh, you know, uh, correct or not? <laughs> hey, yep. oh, no, we, uh, not here. We're, we're not that doing one. that one here. No, we we're not doing, doing that, that one here. No, my my no, only no. real question about the midterm stream, midterm election is: Is it actually finished yet? No, no, it's not no, going to be finished so. uh, un until the Georgia runoffs. So, uh, okay. but I, I might be doing another stream on that with uh, with Jesse and Jack. Okay, just... Excellent. So uh, they, uh, they've got the looking... insight, and that's not on Trim's channel. So yeah, and if you're looking for some color commentary on that, feel free to reach out to me and let me know. Yeah, or or I, as I like <laughs> to say, commentary of color. <laughs> Very inclusive of you, Bleach. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. I need to check something out real quick, sorry. Uh, I happen to agree with the Shade Master that the election has, in fact, been thoroughly Fetterman. Though I do believe he pronounces that Fetterstein. <laughs> yes. Hello, everybody. Thank you, and good night. Yes. It's true. Yeah, right, yeah. yeah. Oof. Uh, well, it's... Okay, no. We, we'll, we'll Not stay here, please. As much as it's a meme. Yeah, yeah. It's a meme. That's all yeah, I... Yeah. I... Uh, that is looking yes. very good, Trim, by the way. Thank you. I like to believe I'm getting somewhat better in my old age. And I can see yeah, what you are you all better. 27? <laughs> no, I'm 31. <laughs> oh. All of 31. Still a young pup. Yes. Still a young pup. Yes. Very young. Still play, hey, should, still should I let time. this guy's zipper be open and then have the gun's mouth peek out of it? Oh. That may well, be no, slightly see, more penile than you want to do on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. I, just, just remember, it's uh, the, the meat wallet is where uh, they, they typically keep those things. So you're not going to see that from the front. Ah. Also true. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, usually on the back or the side. Yeah, but, mm, but, this, the back. But, but this guy doesn't follow conventions or rules. He has his own shit, yo. 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 See, what you you should have is, is an Uzi in each hand, but unregistered <laughs> with the ATF. Hmm. All right, I'm going to have to drop off for a bit. I'm, I, if I can get off a... This conference call. I'll join you guys later. I'll Thank you for being here, dude. Yep. Bye bye. Just call someone. The just drop a hard R. You'll be off that call in no time. <laughs> yeah. uh, let's see. Hard R. By the way, Trim, uh, with, with um, 
past uh, talk about you know your level of, of quality of drawing i think you got better thank you i feel like i've actually done a little bit a little improvement myself yes and i'm starting to I'm, I'm gonna try working out different styles of coloring and shit too so you know i have a lot to learn but i'm not against learning more i'll just say that that is a uh, a very good attitude to have yeah that's I mean, also I'm... a very gangster dwarf <laughs> yeah it's a it's a gnome from scandinavian mythology uh, these guys yeah, there's are... homie the gnome yeah <laughs> sorry okay that one i'm i'm, I'm stealing uh, that one i'm stealing that one i didn't show us the, the the gnome life the gnome life chose me yeah there we go <laughs> homie the gnome <laughs> I'm stealing it. You can't copyright it. It's mine now. <laughs> uh, that's okay. Uh, it was clearly originated by my voice, so I'm fine with that. I don't feel any need to uh, <laughs> to uh, sue you over copyright when you're still poor. Uh, However, since there is uh, sad, sad. <laughs> since there is a Latina influence, I imagine that some of Rosa's viewer are like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rosa is fun. I like Rosa. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I she, uh, she definitely cheered me up today. Yeah, I'm not much for the VTubers, but that one. Um, oh, what was the one I sent mentioned to you, Trim? The uh, the one with the the sort of Brooklyn accent. Ah, uh... is it Absolute Unit? Is that right? No, uh, Tonkatsu Sinclair. That's what. Yeah, that, that's Absolute Unit. Yeah. Yeah. The okay. the. the... <laughs> Oh, he's a he's a uh, he's a fucking riot! I love that. Yeah, part. yeah, he's he's very fun. <laughs> it tastes like shit. Of course, it's ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if, if you want some really fucking good jokes, just follow that guy. Yeah, it's just he's embraced anime in all its yeah, worst he's, forms. He's the generosity definitely. is real. Oh yeah, definitely warped the the VTuber uh, meme to its. Uh... Inevitable conclusion. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, beautiful. Ah, uh, let's see. Okay, now that the American is gone and Bezik isn't here, let's talk about Transformers. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Disappointed that the American isn't really a Transformers fan, but hey, America is what made Transformers Transformers, as that shit used to be Diaclone before they got their hands on it. But hey, I think that's... Uh -huh. Trim knows some of the deep lore. I know a bit too. I, I know more than it's good for a human being, but still, it's no, not I'm enough. Uh, uh, no, I imagine Alden, like you know, the the lion Aslan. Uh, I was there when the old magic was written, witch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Trim, yeah, uh, Shade Master points out Transformers before it was trans something else. Oh. Uh... I mean, I've I've done so much, so many Google searches on Transformers that I'm no longer getting the auto. Uh, Google doesn't anymore uh, try to do the whole auto search. You know, when you write a bar and they're like, "Do you want me this or this?" It's oh, all yeah. Transformers now. Before it used to be like trans people transitioning, trini, 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 or the transformer or <laughs> electric electrical thingy. Now it's just Transformers. This Transformers that actual yes, Transformers. Yeah. It, it is nice when Google finally gets the frigging hint. Yes. <laughs> uh, student of history, I believe he's talking about um, Tonkatsu Sinclair. He says, on a scale of one to Bessick's most moist dreams, what is the degeneracy level? Uh, uh, about Tenkatsu... equal. About and equal. So trim. <laughs> Tonkatsu Sinclair is... Uh, I, I would say there's a, a very uh, anti-degeneracy to that particular thing but it's more that it's um subverting degeneracy by being uh, so it's yeah. yeah it's a parody of a parody almost it's a parody of a parody but he does show a lot of the stuff people draw of him too so you know yes of course it, it that's, isn't that's it isn't free of degeneracy or as we call it uh, as learned men call it culture <laughs> Shade Master, two Bezics. It's two Bezics. Yes. <laughs> and hello, hello, total blackout painting. Nice to see you. So yeah. one trim equal two Bezics. Noted. Wow, there's a lot of people here. Thank you for coming, everybody. 
I, I don't think Desik people. will be too pleased if you say the trim is worth two of them. <laughs> <laughs> In time or degeneracy, yes. I I want to. Sh I, okay, before the fucking uh, golf session, yes, I would agree. Now, no. Mm. Best go into that one. Stream. I think we all agree. Yeah. The thing is, he doesn't think gender bending is gay, which it is. So you know, he's more he's uh, more degenerate. Th that's why I want to join the golf game because there is apparently nice tidbits <laughs> of information and dark secrets of uh, the Australian uh, chairman. <laughs> Uh, Total Blackout points out that he has a job interview in 20 minutes. Good luck, my friend. I hope you get it. And yeah. I recommend negotiating very hard for good uh, remuneration. Fingers crossed. Yes. Yes. Fingers, toes, eyes, ears. If you can cross your ears, I'd be impressed. Eh, preferably not cross your ears. You might need those for the future. There you go. Now we know it's hands and not, you know, something else. <laughs> I was going to say, it looks like Trim is crossing a couple of different organs. Than yeah, fingers. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I had to specify with badly drawn fingers. Or you could have cancer nuts. What? <laughs> Cross your balls for good luck, says Earl. <laughs> Get a good, good squeeze. <laughs> uh, again, best of luck, man. Uh, I hope you get the job. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, you have any Transformers questions? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Andy? Um, okay, here's one for you. What? Uh, the original uh, Gen 1 Jetfire toy yes. was based mm. on a uh, figure from a different uh, IP. Can you name the IP and name the character who was most involved with that particular item? Unfortunately not. I know that Transformers used to be Diaclone before it became Transformers, but I'm more of a Transformers lore guy, not really much in the toy facts. Ah, okay. Then I have some interesting information for you, and actually can't answer my own second question. Hey! But uh, the, first question, the first part of the question was the toy line that it was uh, adapted from. The original G1 Skyfire Jetfire, however you, you like to identify it, originated as a Robotech. Um, oh. I've even forgotten what the name of the uh, of the prop of the toy from Robotech would have been, but the uh, the fighter that transformed from a fighter to kind of a hybrid fighter walker, and then transformed further to the humanoid, to the walker. Yes. I mean it makes sense. Except th that makes sense of the old head sculpt because. Uh... His help, help, help sculpt before before he got the face, it was just a visor and a, a mouth plate, which was pretty yes. traditional back then. Yeah, and uh, my personal feeling is that that visor was far, far more, um, or far less disturbing to a young mind. <laughs> well, kind of, but yeah, I, I like it when my Transformers have faces. I mean... There are few Transformers who can pull off the visor and mouthpiece unless you're Soundwave. That's true. Which is honestly the best Transformer, Soundwave. My my peak favorite. I mean, I, I love a lot of Transformers, but Soundwave is just the best one. I was never a huge Soundwave fan. I did like Galvatron when he first appeared, but <laughs> I, I preferred Megatron. King Nutcase. As I like to call in Galvatron. the film, ironically, in the film, I did prefer Galvatron because I thought the design of that was far cooler. Eh, I mean, that was actually the first time they designed the character before they designed the toy. Because every toy was designed with, uh, every character was designed with their toys in mind. That's why okay. Galvatron, the Sweeps, and Cyclonus has a lot more rounder appearance, more humane uh, human like appearance because they were designed primarily before their toys came out if not they would be a lot more blocky uh total blackout points out that he 100 percent uh liked soundwave because he had the cartridge dudes that were my favorite yeah i remember ravage and laser beak if i recall correctly rumble frenzy ravage rat bat oh, there you go and laser beak then it was buzzar no buzzar no, Buzzsaw. No, Buzzsaw. That's it. Basically, yeah. Laserbeak clone. 
Yeah, yeah. Well, that's kind of like uh, the original Starscream, and there were two others that kind of Cyclonus and Thundercracker. Uh, I believe it was under something. I don't think it was Thundercracker. Yeah. I think no, it was, it was Thundercracker. A... Cyclonus yeah, and Thundercracker. Thundercracker is the blue one, and Cyclonus is the purple one. Okay. And I'll, in the uh, movie, I'll they both I'll got. Take your your clearly more expert word for that. <laughs> the expert schmeckberg is what I'm saying. I'm just having a lot of fun talking about it. <laughs> Sorry. Mm. But yeah, uh, you also know you know Cyclonus and Scourge, right? The two new guys who joined with Galvatron. I remember Scourge. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the two of them are actually made from the corpses of the Insecticons and the Seekers of Thundercracker and Skywarp. Okay. Yeah. So basically, Thundercracker and Skywarp are uh, Thundercracker and Skywarp are reborn into Scourge and Cyclonus. Which is kind of fucking mental, in my opinion. When Robo Satan himself, who is the size of a fucking giant ass planet, comes along and <laughs> and restructures you from basics. <laughs> well, if it hadn't have been for all that French wine, he probably would have been okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that was glorious. <laughs> oh, if, man. If you folks don't know what we're talking about, uh, Orson I have no did the voice of, oh, Orson you, you... Did the voice of uh, Unicron in the original movie. Yes. Uh, he also uh, made a wine commercial for, I believe it was a California wine. And the outtakes from that are absolutely glorious because he is obviously sampling as he's going. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's enjoying the sampling a little too much. <laughs> and uh, Prime Knight point out, pointed out that he liked Jetfire in the film, but heard he was far from what he is in the earlier iterations. Jetfire in the, in the cartoon, film is not really Jetfire. He's just a character called Jetfire. Sort of like it. He's given the yeah. Transformers Energon treatment. That's basically what he does. Yeah, in the original cartoons that had Jetfire, Jetfire and Starscream were actually very good friends. And um, ended up, uh, Jetfire ended up stranded on Earth. Starscream, of course, being the tower coward that he was, kind of frigged off and uh, left his buddy screwed. No, uh, that but... wasn't it, actually. He couldn't help him. Starscream was a bit more noble before it became a Decepticon. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, he, he, he couldn't, and, and he couldn't save realize... him, and he was kind of afraid that he was gone. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah in, in my memory, because I was probably six when I saw this last, uh, it's a little jumbled. So. Sorry. But I do remember Jetfire being a very... Uh, noble and kind of heroic character. Yeah, which, and that's why he fell out with the Decepticons. Michael Bay created. He's kind of, that's why he kind of fell out with Starscream. It's like a, a, at the end of the episode where it was, Starscream started shrieking at him, and Jetfire's like, dude, dude, come on. You're not the most dickhead. And Starscream pretty much just says, yes, I want him, and shoots him. Ah. Yeah, it's always nice when your buddies turn out to be dicks. Yeah. <laughs> Politics does that to people. Yes, this is true. But yeah, to uh, to return to what Prime Knight yeah. was saying, he was very much the mischaracterized by Muckle Bay. Oh yeah, I mean he did that pretty much with every single character. I don't think one character got a proper characterization, except of uh, course that Bumblebee. Like... Bumblebee stopped being a pussy. Yes, and personally, I liked very much the way he handled Ironhide. Ironhide was very much done correctly, in my opinion. Yeah, okay, Ironhide and Jazz. Also Ratchet. He he got the the first movie, got their bots really well. Yeah. Even though he kind of misnamed Devastator and Brawl, but hey, I can let that slide. <laughs> I uh, I have to say that I really did like some of the uh, some of the vehicles they chose based on the characters Ironhide as a great big jacked out Dodge truck was or Chevy truck rather was uh, was quite nice yeah I like Hound Hound is Hound. cool but he, he sort of was, he was, was uh, that he... John Goodman that voiced him I think so I am like a fuck ballerina <laughs> taking names kicking ass and taking names I, I liked it, but uh, how basic was taken because uh, was chosen because they couldn't use bulkhead. Uh, how was originally decided to be bulkhead, but uh, okay. they they changed it because they changed it because they thought they had already taken too much from other Transformers uh, series, 
So it's like, nah, we're making it Hound instead. And I can confirm that the voice of Hound in all the Transformers movies, uh, the live-action Bay movies, were, in fact, uh, John Goodman. Yeah. Honestly, though, Hound is one of the better Autobots in the series. I kind of like his role. He's sort of like the new Ironhide after Ironhide got shafted. Yes. Thanks, Sentinel, you dick. <laughs> but yeah, that's another yeah. character. Of course, base movies, I say all the time, base movies are uh, 60% pure putrid shit. And 40% <laughs> unadulterated awesome. Because what Bay uh, gets right, he gets fucking right. But when he true, gets yeah. something wrong, it's an, it, it can't even be, you know, he can't even begin to try and salvage it. But he got a lot of things right, so too. True. And Hound, amazing. And not to fucking mention Sentinel Prime. I don't like Spook. Hmm? I don't like Spock. Nah, and neither did Optimus Prime later. No, no, uh, Sentinel, because it's voiced by Leno Nimoy. Yes. Oh, so it was. <clears throat> also known as Galvatron. To me, Leonard Nimoy isn't Spock, he's Galvatron. I, uh, I have a massive love for Leonard Nimoy's photography. So, yeah. that's, uh, a bit of a niche thing. I've had some interesting discussions with Trekkies before. They tend to get all insulted uh, yeah. when I when I call Spock Galvatron. <laughs> well, some people uh, get pretty fanatic about some of their fandoms. I tend not to be too bad about certain aspects. But when it comes to an adaptation or a reboot or something like that, if you don't honor the source material, it really, really gets under my skin. Um, if I could burn it in a stake <laughs> legally, I would. Not you, but uh, <laughs> whoever ruins the fucking adaptation. Yeah, yeah. Rings of power. Uh, and uh, I don't own uh, my... Uh, my... I, I would not... I To be fair, Trim, I would not put rings of power in the adaptation category. <laughs> I would put them in the expansion category. I would because... barely even consider content, but hey, Amazon yeah. money. It doesn't yeah, exist. They, they didn't have a lot of uh, a lot of material to draw from, so really, <laughs> what they did was kind of similar to what Peter Jackson did with The Hobbit. They kind of took the lore and expanded on it. Now they didn't even take the Jackson. right fucking eras. It's not even. True. It wasn't even made with effort. No, no, it was it was basically just a fantasy show with a veneer of Tolkien slapped on it. Uh, no, as far it. as Peter Jackson's Hobbit movies go, yeah, they weren't the best movies, and yes, he probably did do at least one movie more than he should have, but at least that he the was studio, trying to honor the spirit of Tolkien. That, that the he did. Ask it. That, that, that was not uh, Peter Jackson uh, wishes and will to make free movie of The Hobbit. I know. Oh, okay. A total blackout painting says he thinks Michael Bay makes trash on purpose. And he says, as long as we can all agree that Burgess Meredith is Golobulus. Uh, that reference went right past me. Because Who is, Golo Who is Burgess Golobulus? Meredith... Yes. Uh, the only thing I know Burgess Meredith from is the penguin in the original Batman show. Oh. Wah! Hmm. It's about, uh, you know, being a fanboy and uh, go, go to war with other fans who have not the same um, point of view as you. I'm... Um, I don't like that either, just like you, I don't. But I understand that sometimes uh, shit is shit and you have to call it out. Oh, yeah. Very true. And it's better to accept something is shit and then revel in it. Like The Room. Globulus from G.I. Joe. Oh, huh? I've got to have a look at this. This is the old G.I. Joe cartoon I think he's talking about. I'm not big on G.I. Joe, sadly. Sorry. I was a massive fan of ninjas in the 80s, so Snake Eyes is... Globulus. Well, TNMT was a big thing for me. Oh, this must be from... This looks like it's from... Uh, some... Add-on or crossover that I had. A G.I. Joe versus Transformers. <laughs> oh! Okay. 
Um, that's a crossover I didn't know I needed. But that's I a crossover that's see... existed in many different uh, adaptations, and I still want to yeah, see a I... movie, but we'll never get one. I was going to say, I wouldn't mind seeing Michael Bay handle those. Uh, Total Blackout says he thinks he's older than us. Uh, I'm 46, so possibly not. I mean, uh, Trim, again, I believe, 31. earlier that he was 31. Uh, Christopher, if I remember, you're in your mid-30s. Uh, 34. Yeah. Uh, Bezik is somewhere between uh, two and ancient. He's, uh, <laughs> I guess he's two years younger than me, I think. Yeah. Uh, Prime Knight points out that Batman vs. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was funny. It was. It was very good. It was uh, glorious. Batman Ninja, Batman Ninja, on the other hand, made me insane. <laughs> what is Batman Ninja? Uh, it's one where Batman and the Joker get transported back in time to feudal Japan. Oh, that CGI abomination that makes me want to cry. Yes, and the very first thing Batman does is go, well, I don't need all these technologically advanced gadgets anymore. I'll just pick up a sword. Wait, Bruce, what the fuck? <laughs> And Total Blackout points out he's 45, so we, we are roughly the same vintage. Huh. Total Blackout painting. I like that name. It's a good one. Uh, student of History asks, why did the elves jump in front of the shield wall? The shield wall is much better for holding a line. Wait, what? Yeah, the don't, the don't talk about that. <laughs> what are they referencing? Uh, the Hobbit, I believe. The, huh. the third movie of the bit when the... the ah, Eric yes, Charmy... the... Heroic uh, assault, uh, counter assault of the elf because style points, I guess. Yeah, uh, yeah, it was it was meant to be a, a moment of kind of uh, exuberance and exultation. Uh, if you combine it with the soundtrack, it's it's pretty clear why it was done. It was just done for effect. Yes. No, no real thought about the tactics involved. No tactics at all. The only ones using tactics in that movie was the actual orcs. For the Battle of Five Armies. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I uh, I have to say that um, it's it's kind of interesting uh, how they uh, they portrayed the orcs as smarter than you know the dwarves who are supposed to be tactical geniuses. Oof. <laughs> While in the yeah. in the director's cut there is the the special uh, ballista or something that can uh, block arrows and do incredible damage to the elf. Uh, ranks so there is a, a bit more in the director's cut yeah if you didn't oh, okay. watch it i haven't watched it i haven't watched stupid. the director's cut sadly uh prime knight says batman uses a sword like how donatello uses a sword or how guts uses a sword <laughs> um i'm not sure of the reference but Berserk, I, uh, since trim is laughing i'll let him have a go at it okay the thing is to, when donatello uses a sword anger. he uses it to disarm you knock the sword out of uh, your uh, gun hey, out of your hand hey, hey, and hey, if it's not donatello. It's and leonardo when leonardo uses a sword he uh he uses it to disarm you not actually disarm you but just remove the weapon from your hand and lightly slap you over the back with the flat of the sword when guts uses a sword he decides to disarm you of your entire bottom half and top half. And the half for your soul. Yeah, that too. Actually, the sword started, it was able to cut spirit matter later because... Yes. <laughs> because he had just killed so many goddamn demons that their blood had made the sword able to kill even fucking unkillable it's creatures. It's fucking badass. Yeah. It's like the soul is in a dimension of its own. Yeah, it's like, ouch. It's like that uh, different thing where that a bullet will kill you, but another will kill your soul. The sword will kill you and your soul because fuck you. Oh boy. And yeah, Total Blackout. The uh, original comics are way darker than the the childhood uh, thing they became. Yeah, just like the mask. Really, have any of you seen? Uh, yeah. yeah, original yeah. comic of mask. It, it, it was creepy and weird and oh it. Yeah. It was very, 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 very special. I liked, I, I liked it. I found the comic after I saw Nostalgia Critic's review of it, and it was kind of, you know, Jesus. I think it was Nostalgia Critic. Or was it another... The uh, Maybe it was, the book was better, I guess. Don't quite remember. Sorry. My dementia is acting up, and I seem to forget. Do 
Oh, got quiet here. Lads. Arden, did you mute yourself again? He did. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I was just uh, silent for a second myself. But yeah, apparently, right. Arden uh, has muted himself. Uh, maybe because he had to go feed a, feed a kid or something. I, I heard that he was respon uh, he was uh, responsible for a kid. You know, not his own. I think he was his nephew or something. Don't quite remember. Reef, yeah, yes. he's li he's lying. He's going uh, he's going for his female again. Yes. Talk about transformer. Got him all hot and bothered. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we 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 don't like happy people here. Yeah. What? I like happy people here. You better be fucking happy or I'll come stack. I mean, hey. <laughs> you will be happy. Or you happiness will be sorry. Happiness is not allowed, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's your channel, dude. This is my channel. Happiness is mandatory. Or at least pretend you're happy. That always works. <laughs> pretend. <laughs> <laughs> happiness is bad for you. I'm not gonna say what I wanted to say there because that was kind of would have got kind of dark. <laughs> oh boy! So it's gonna be an interesting uh, year next year to see what happens. What do you mean? Oh, well, I mean there's gonna be year? there's gonna be a few uh, there's gonna be a new Transformers movie. We're gonna get the ah. next Zelda game. Uh, we're gonna see more of your bestiary. Oh, yeah. If it works, it'll probably work. And if it doesn't, on the small chance that it doesn't, then you know, you can always try again. I'm not sure I can try again. You can. I know you can, dude. At at least not in a short period of time. Well, that's fair. Just uh, you need to restructure and rebrand your strategy, and suddenly, boom, go back, right back uh, into it. Not sure about that. Yeah, you're not allowed to quit, sadly. No, no, I, I, I don't plan on quitting. I don't want to quit. There is no reason to do so. Yeah. But still, yeah, it's uh, it's something, man. It's something. Yeah, I, I can, but I can understand the pre-Kickstarter jitters. It's, yeah, it would suck, but still, I have a good feeling about it. Which is now is a good timing to say. Jump to Kickstarter and check out Christopher Everard's uh, project on his uh, bestiary. Uh, I tried to do the shill on the Arch uh, cast this time, but I wasn't able to because I was uh, getting problems with my bank. Yeah, but as I said, uh, don't don't worry. You you do plenty for me, man. Mm. But I contacted the girl that went on the Arch cast. Hell yeah. Uh, I I hope I hope that she. She will get back to me and uh, we, we can maybe do a, a podcast or something because the way she spoke about comic book was very interesting and I think I can do something um, very nice with another guy I interviewed to speak about specifically the state of the comic book today. Yeah. I mean, she is a she is a Marvel vet from what I can understand. Yeah, she, she worked for Marvel. Poor thing. She worked. Yeah. Apparently, the, she was very, very underpaid. Yeah. Sort of like a chef's life, if you ask me. But I'm glad she struck out on her own. And, you know, you should, you should totally check out the comic. It, what the fuck? What was the, na what was the name of the game? Fiendish or something? Yeah, Fiendish. Fiendish. Looks like, it looks like a good read, to be honest. And if uh, Arch thinks it's impressive, then it should be impressive. Let's see. Yes. I haven't really gotten to starting to properly read the comic yet, but I'm going to try and get into it later. I've been a bit busy as of late. Preparing to get back to the ship. I'm getting back aboard on uh, Thursday now. 
And don't forget that we do uh, a podcast to the, together a few days. Uh, uh, um, in a few days, sorry. Yeah. Uh, when? Fuck, which day was it? Uh, do, 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 let me get my phone. Because it's not Thursday. That doesn't work. No, no, no. Fuck, my phone has no battery. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can just get back to it later. Or just I plug it, it in. Was it was something like the 16 or something like that, I think. Ah, yes, in two days. I can do that. I can still do that. Oh, that's the wrong way. Also, soon we are getting another game called Evil West, which I'm really looking forward to. A third-person uh, brawler slash shooter where you go around hunting vampires. In old Western America. Yeehaw! You can start fucking punching out vampires with electrical gauntlets. It looks fucking awesome. <laughs> oh yeah, Dark Tide. Oh, hello, monkey. Welcome aboard. I'm not really hyped for Dark Tide. Aww. No. Oh, I kind of like I, I like Vermintide, so I'm kind of excited for Dark Tide because I I want I want to be a giant dumb fucking ogren and smash things. Apparently, this is the only character that is very fun and exciting to play. So yeah, <laughs> but and also the, the it's early is, game. It's early game. The, the Vermintide was very the the first one was cool. Um, really, it was fun and all, but the the second one was so much grindy and I don't like that no. I really don't like uh, you know game that uh, require to to kill 1000 million thing again and again and again and again eh, I kind of like it because I think it's cathartic because sometimes I really want to kill a million things again and again and again and again and again and again in a video game in a video game, Susan. In a video game. In Minecraft. <laughs> yes. Only in Minecraft, I promise. So, for for what purpose are you doing the the, the gnome dwarf thing? By the uh, way, I was kind of uh, wondering what I was supposed to work through because it was either I start with a new mythological creature, I do one of my backlogs. Or I was to work on one of the commissions, and uh, the voting poll when I checked it was 50-50, and then Prime Knight asked, uh, said, hey, you should do a Tomte. And then I was like, hmm, yeah, sure, why not? And do I think I voted for, the, for the, the commission. Yeah. Yeah, recently I have been able to use the uh, community tab on YouTube, so you know that's kind of cool. Planning I to don't use mine. Yeah. Well, I, I probably won't use it too much either, but I'm going to try and uh, upload images to it. So, uh, you know, finished artwork or progress. That'd be, at least that's what I hope to do. Whenever I get the op opportunity, at least. Hopefully, I'll be able to learn some new. Trick, tips and tricks on this, which is the important part. Let's see. Okay, I'm back, guys. Hello, Arden. <laughs> it's it's back. really nice to see that I'm the one who carries the damn conversation. You guys were dead air like crazy for a minute there. No shit. I was <laughs> waiting for your. I was waiting for your answer, and you was like, "Yeah, when when is he gonna say something?" And it's like, "Oh, you dropped off without said, telling I, us again." I said, I said before I went that I had to step away for a minute. And then I put I put it in chat on top of that. Oh. But no. If you, you okay, here, here's the thing. Apparently. If if you if you leave and <laughs> you tell it, if I don't respond, I didn't hear you. So you need to repeat again uh, until you get a response. Okay. Yeah, I always respond when people talk to me. If not, I was like, I'm not. I don't. I haven't gotten the message, but don't respond. Fair enough. 
I am simple, uh, man. I simple drink. I will take the opportunity to say hello to Monkey and point out that I wanted someone to ask Trim about one of your fantasy projects you'd really like to work on if you had absolute free reign, what sort of thing you'd most like to do for oh. your work. Oh, uh, like a work with artwork of my own style or if I had the opportunity to do whatever I wanted? We'll say whatever you wanted. Animated series of Norse mythology. Nice. Yes, that is something I've been dreaming out about since I was a kid. And if I ever become a millionaire, that's what I'm going to spend the money on. <laughs> Uh, no, student. My lady friend is actually not involved with this today. I was taking care of my nephew. <laughs> Took care of him behind the shed. Now there's one less nephew. What? Hey, bada boom, bada bing, ah! Huh? <laughs> Look how they massacred my boy. Forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> I, so I says to the penguin, I says, "Hey, penguin!" But all the penguin d does is say, "Wah!" <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, it's, a, it's a 60s Batman reference, Christopher. Okay. It's awesome. I don't know if you've ever seen the original, uh, the old school series of Batman uh, from the 60s, the colorized, the colored one. Um, I'm Blue. not sure. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't think so. You, you are definitely missing out. It is a good time all the way around. It's a cult. It's called a classic for a reason. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't even put it on the level of cult classic. It's definitely just straight-up classic. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, boy. Good times. <laughs> um, hmm. So what was it you said you would like to do? It was Norse gods, right? Yeah, uh, basically making full-on animated series of Norse mythology. Oh, that would be very interesting. Oh, yeah. Like, properly made as close to as you can get to the original myths, and it would be the uh elder edda oh nice yeah and loki, that... loki is the god of fire in that no eh, not much fire more like just a trickster and an asshole and he starts up sort of as a good guy until he just became becomes more and more malicious and cruel the thing is if yeah I... if i got it the way i wanted it would be a sort of a mini series where okay. there would be a total of 11 or 12 episodes okay so each episode would be one of the main legends in the Edda. Excellent. Yeah. Start with the, the creation of the world, you know, the formation of Yggdrasil, and it would end with the with the Ragnarok. A student of history points out that you're not allowed to do that because between God of War and Disney, they own the Norse gods. They can actually, um, no. they can take that and they can shove it up their ass. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I will point out that Disney owns the rights to a space viking. <laughs> no, no, not not even a fucking viking, dude. What Thor is, is a Arthurian knight who has heard about vikings and decided to dress <laughs> up in some kind of weird uh, Shakespearean cloth that a guy totally says comes from the viking lands, bro. Believe me, bro. Totally believe me. And then he goes off really and nice like, word. oh, forsooth, over there. Look at him. Well, the proper Barely. Viking, yes, and proper Vi Vikings look at it like, so we're just gonna, you know, we're just gonna enrich him the usual way, right? Yeah, yep, let's go. <laughs> God, I hate, I hate Marvel. I hate Marvel Thor. E even when I liked Marvel, I hated Marvel Thor. Good yeah, lord. He was one of that. my least favorite characters also. It's just, I, they I call him Marvel's... Thor, but he's just a knight with a stupid foam hammer. <laughs> sorry, sorry, it just set me off. Yeah, no, yeah, I agree, I agree with you. I, I, I personally, I don't mind either way. I'm sure this is entertaining for the for the audience, so this is <laughs> this is good. Um, my personal take on it was uh, I was quite disappointed that Thor wasn't a redhead. Ginger Erasure before Ginger Erasure was a thing. Yeah, the well, thing is, though, blonde is okay. Nah, yeah, no, it's not. If you if you want, you know, here's the here's the best part. You know who has made the most believable version of Thor in modern depiction of him? Mm. God of War Ragnarok. That is as close really? to the proper Thor. Yeah, because Thor... The he... Fun? Yes, because Thor wasn't a fucking sculpted <laughs> Greek god. Thor was a fat, muscly brawler who would 
He would drink oceans of meat. He would eat mountains of food and then go, then go out later and commit attempts of genocide on the Jotnar. Unfortunately, they bred like mice, like mice, so he couldn't fucking kill all of them. <laughs> Thor was a brutal guy, and the only reason he didn't do the same to humanity is because he liked humanity. He was a protector of humanity. Um, I'm not uh, an expert on that subject. Nah, it's but, basically... Uh, I believe you. Yeah. What I like about God of War is that even in the Greek eras, the gods are depicted as the bad guys, you know, the mythological antagonists, right? They sw they've they swapped them between the titans and the gods, and they did the same in God of War, uh, the Norse editions. They've switched where the instead of the Aesir being the benevolent ones, it is actually the Jotnar. So I'm, I'm kind of that's one of the reasons why I kind of like God of War because it doesn't follow the myths to the book because it's un, they're unable to but they decided to be, to be like huh hey, you know how about we just take it and make the gods the bad guys okay sure hell yeah and that's the way they went after God of War one and honestly it just makes it awesome because of it. Hmm. I uh, I see student of history is weighing in with the uh, I believe Babylonian for Gilgamesh and Enkidu. Ooh, they're kind of cool. Yeah, uh, the the story there that's that's a bromance if ever there was a bromance. That's a bro that's a bromance to start all bromances. <laughs> uh, student um, also says, yeah, no, Trim's got a point between answering the Jotun question, attempting to deadlift Jormungandr, and literally lowering the ocean levels due to drinking. Yeah, Thor is no nice guy. No, he's or not. Or more accurately, not a preener. Uh, no, very true. Again, when you look at God of War's Thor, and just look how he fights in his battles, that is like, yes, I can believe that this is the closest depiction to Thor, because I never liked the muscle. I've, uh, Thor is muscle-bound, but he would be, I guess, closer to the guy who plays the mountain in Game mm, of Thrones. Bjornsson. Yeah, much closer to him, I, actually. I think his last name is Bjornsson. I know his first name is Half Thor, which is friggin' ironic because the size of that guy, I'd hate to meet full Thor. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he, he's the closest thing you can get to a Thorian look. But honestly, it, in my view, Thor always had a gut. Because again, when he eat mountains of food to that amount, when he drink as much as he does, when and when he generally just do everything you do, it's... That build would be perfect for Thor. That's true. Yeah, yeah. You're. Uh, isn't that guy's nickname Thor? I'm sorry. What? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah the... I think he actually is. Yeah. Thor the mountain or something like that. And the mountain oh, yeah, now, okay. but it was see, Thor before going. Game of Thrones. Yeah. Yeah, I th I think yeah. His full name, his full first name is Half Thor, and yeah. I guess he just shortens it to Thor, which makes sense. <laughs> It was half a tour first, and then a full tour after. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, once, once he got out into the world and discovered that there wasn't anybody terribly close to his size, he went, well, I'm definitely not a half. There, there is one. <laughs> there is one. Uh, um, an English guy. Um, Eddie Hall. Yeah, thank you. He's Eddie got a Hall's lot of Viking awesome. jeans in him. <laughs> but uh, I, I was quite disappointed in uh, Eddie Hall because um, he, he challenged uh, the mountain to a box fight, and... Uh, Eddie Hall, like, he, he wasted the opportunity. He wasn't uh, very he serious in his a boxing match. Yeah, and he lost. Well, and, and in that match, Thor, like, it was so thin, so muscular, so it was impressive the transformation he, he had. Yeah, yeah. Well, card cardio over strength, right? I don't know, but yeah. I'm, I'm but, no, I, uh, I don't know jack shit about... Uh... Yeah, personally, uh, guys built like Eddie Hall and the way Half Thor was built, um, I don't generally see them as put, as strikers. I like to see them grappling. Because if you get those guys doing judo moves, you're going to see some amazing throws. But yeah, it, so um, the mountain was so ripped and thin and... It was like pure muscle, no no fat at all, and uh, yeah, he, he, he trashed uh, Eddie Hall in the boxing match. Eddie Hall went for the, the strange build, so to speak, <laughs> <laughs> and, and he lost. I see, okay. 
You can Google it. Uh, there is way more to that than what I'm saying. Okay. Well, yeah. So one of the reasons I really don't like, again, I don't like Hemingworth personally because he's spineless, unlike Henry Cavill, but that's my personal gripe against the actor. But I don't like his version of Thor either. either. Just as much of a wet carpet as Hemingsworth as an actor. Yeah. Yeah, I uh, I liked Hemsworth, but I really wonder what it would have been like if they had cast Tom Hiddleston as Thor, because it would have been interesting to see a bulked up Tom Hiddleston. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tom Hiddleston was very nice in Loki, I think. He was amazing as Loki. He was born. To, he was as born to play Loki as Ryan Reynolds was to play Deadpool. Yes, to be fair, pretty much. Or Hugh Jackman was born to play Wolverine, which mm. when that first came out, I was like, nah, Australian soap star Wolverine, really? <laughs> He's a little tall for it too, don't you? Yeah, it was. But so my that, that, God, that was great. That was the the, the gripe many people had. He, he's too tall to be Wolverine because Wolverine is no tall guy. No, no Wolverine is like five two or five three at the most. I think he's a short ass. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's he's a little fire plug. Like, uh, do you remember the pro wrestler Taz? I think so. He was a really short guy, but they used to call him the Human Suplex Machine because he was short and still built like Eddie Hall or Half Thor. <laughs> he was just a brute little guy. He's a buff man. Yeah. And and yeah, student of history points out Hiddleston goes to Khan's as Loki. I think Hiddleston goes to Khan's as Loki for two reasons. One, contractual obligation, and two, because he frigging loves doing that character. Oh yeah. He he's Which, the guy who just found yeah. everything he wanted in that one uh in that one character. Well, I mean, it's it's like uh, Kate Blanchett playing Hella. You can tell these people absolutely love chewing the scenery. Oh yeah, <laughs> among other things. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, who else? I think your what doesn't work the way you hope it to be. <laughs> eh, it works what? for me, and that's what matters. <laughs> I just realized I actually mispronounced that that time. It should have been qua, not qua. Okay. I was saying okay. what, not cross. Okay. <laughs> Cough no. Cough no. Eh? Okay. Cough no. Cough. No, no comprendo? Cough. <laughs> it's kind of funny how uh, dialects work. In Norway, uh, we have uh, va, you know, H-V-A, va. Okay. That is basically what. But if you go to the middle of Norway, to where I'm from, and you get the same reaction, it's Ka, K A, Ka, Ka for Yeah, it's kind of fun. So is that just different dialects of what? What's your language called? Is it Norska? Uh, it's called Norwegian. <laughs> it's called Norwegian, and uh, the dialect I have is called Turundish. Okay, troll speak it is. Ah, uh, it works. <laughs> we do live close to the mountain, but we're not in the mountains. Hmm. Of course, don't get me started on people who come from, like, Sundmur. They have the worst accent. Okay. And and if there ever is any people from Sundmur watching the stream, yes, offense intended. <laughs> you should you should avoid intentionally offending people. Yeah. I, I think that's how it Norwegians do that on a daily basis. It's it's well, like grass, I mean... grass grows, birds sing, Norwegian insult each other's dialects on a daily basis. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, m most people, I think, most peoples are like that amongst themselves. It's when the f the outsiders do it that they get, uh, yeah. ideally, they get a little upset. Yeah. Or dare you things. insult someone instead of me insulting this person. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get to pick on him. I only get to pick on him. <laughs> <laughs> sort of like one of those movies where the villain suddenly helps out the hero. <laughs> He's mine! Yeah, yeah. You don't get to kill him, only I get to kill him. Yeah. Sort of a Joker slash Megatron thing there. Yeah, yeah, I could see that. That's the thing I like about Transformers Prime. Just 
every time it was like, oh, we're about to kill Optimus Prime. I was like, no, I'm going to kill him. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, that's one of the best designs, too. Anyway, sidetracking as I always do. Sorry. And now it's silent again. Sad. Yes, briefly. Sad. Uh, Base tape says, uh, Hurdy on Gertie violence. Yes. A lot of that, actually. Mm-hmm. Though it's morally, more just uh, insulting each other until alcohol becomes involved. Then we sort of take a hint out of the Scottish tradition, or, or rather the ancient Norse tradition, which the Scottish ripped off and are trying to call their own. Yeah. A bit of walking against the head. Ah, oh, we're friends again. Yes. It depends. Uh, it depends on who's uh, who gives the first drink afterwards, if there is any. You're trying to get those off the transformers bit, huh? Well, that's where you fail. It's about time you pay attention to chat. <laughs> I'm kind of busy looking down at the at the tab here. Sorry. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Excuses, excuses. Ah, eh, well, it works for you guys, so I, I was hoping it would work for me as well, but apparently not. <laughs> Sad. Uh. Uh, favorite Chad what are your, Yeah, what are your favorite Chad moments in mythology? Uh, hmm. Before that, I was like, yeah, go ahead in the later, I think. <laughs> what? <laughs> it means I'm walking your general direction in Norwegian. <laughs> Okay. And if so I'm gonna basically, I'm coming your way. Kind yeah, of I'm walking your general direction. Uh, oh. If I'm gonna say that in my in my home dialect, it is I go it in general. Let happening. Okay. Everybody <laughs> 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 uh, Let me think. Student of history. One of my favorite Chad moments in mythology is probably Solomon bringing the temple down after he's been blinded. Ooh. It's it's just a, a gigantic finger in the face of of the the oppressor, <laughs> or maybe um, who was the guy who beat a bunch of people to death with the jaw from a? An you ass? mean Jesus? <laughs> no, no, no. I, I will give Jesus his props when he flipped that table and told those moneylenders to get the f out. That was awesome. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, Earl says he used the wrong word somewhere in that. Uh, string of gibberish he posted that you actually could interpret. Ah. <laughs> the best language of them all, Norwegian? Sure, sure. Yeah. Ah, total blackout is popped back in. The job interview went well. It was just the HR manager making sure I'd be a basic fit. So, in other words, you've got the job. Yay! Congratulations! He is now experiencing mandatory happiness. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, man. Good on Good you. luck with the HR departments. And, uh, Feel free at any time to uh, super chat or donate to the Sultans of Chatelet on Saturdays. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, have I mentioned my subscribe star today? <laughs> Please don't. That is just fucking cringe, bro. Oh, yeah. When, when hey, I will I be a uh, successful VTuber, I will have a Patreon. <laughs> yeah, you're going to be a VTuber, I... that's right. <laughs> oh, God. No, seriously. He, he, he just made a it, joke. He, I guess you just made a joke to Rosa, right? Yeah. And he was like, yeah, this is this is happening now. Yeah, the, it, it's it's with Rosa or Ginia. I don't know how to call her. Ah, uh, both it was works. a joke, and, and I said, uh, I, I, I guess I will need to be a VTuber to be popular like you and all. And uh, she, she just sprinted with it. <laughs> yeah, she just she just didn't take and walk with it. She ran past it and it started shrieking down the streets. Uh, yeah, almost. And and well, uh, apparently she commissioned something for me, and all. Was, I was like, what? What? <laughs> Be too so, bearded lady. So look forward to Christopher Everard's future debut as a VTuber. <laughs> apparently, that will be, be Christopherina. <laughs> <laughs> And yes, uh, student of history, I do apologize. I said Solomon. I meant to say Samson. Uh, Let's see. My Uh, favorite Chad moment, that would be... There's a lot of them, though. But mine is... uh, One of them is in in Norse mythology when... uh, This is after the whole Utgard mess where uh, Thor and Loki and the gang was uh, just being fooled by the Jotun king of uh, Utgard, Utgard Loki. 
Okay. Sort of, he's sort of like a hardcore magician, basically. And he just stands on top of his, uh, on top of his castle, just says that, yeah, yeah, none of the trials are actually faced were fair because Loki, you were eating against fire, and you, boy, I fuck, I forgot his name. Uh, I think was it? Ah, shit. Sorry, I forgot one of the names. Uh. V dot or maybe? one of the Jotun? No, it's a boy that used to uh, uh, that a boy that lamed one of Thor's goats uh, ended up uh, becoming one of his servants instead of being murdered. Oh. Uh, and uh, but that kid was really fast at running, so he was put up up against uh, the Loki? thoughts of uh, Utgard Loki. <laughs> Is that Freki or Freki, however it's pronounced? I think it's... Uh, Freki is a wolf. Oh, okay. I think it's it's the brother of... Uh, um, oh, no, it's... Um, there's a twin wolf, I don't remember the correct name of the... You mean Skuld and Hati? Ah, well, may, maybe I just uh, misinterpreted the name. Fenris? I remember it. Yeah, but the, no, it's it's the the brother wolf. Like uh, one is the moon and one is the sun. Oh, that, that's like that. that's Hathi and Skull, and they were sent to chase the sun and moon. Yeah, was, I, I was wrong. Sorry, continue. Ah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Anyway, the kid was really fast, but he was put in a running competition against a manifestation of thoughts, which is the fastest of all. And uh, then Thor was put up against a challenge against lifting the cat. Which turned out to be the Midgard Serpent. And he almost managed to fucking lift it too. And then he was put in a wrestling match against Death itself, who looked like an old crone. And Thor, he didn't get wrecked. He actually put up a pretty good fight and Death had to start cheating. Which is an allegory for disease. Oh yeah, f thank you. Gary and Frickia Odin's wolf. So yeah, it was a wolf. But not the correct one. Yes. No. no. Ah, Gary of Freki. Okay. Yes, those. Those are nice boys. Those are good boys. But uh, the Chad moment is that just Utgar Loki just stands there, laughs while Thor is standing with his back facing the room, just getting more and more angry. And then Thor turns around to smash the entire fucking castle with his nuclear hammer. And then just Utgar Loki make the whole place just disappear. Just vanish okay, into so thin air. Base Dave has weighed in with his own personal Chad mythology moment. Yes. He says his favorite moment was, was when Big Daddy Kong snatched up that cheating actress bitch and threatened to throw her off the Empire State Building. Teach that whole <laughs> <a> lesson. <laughs> yes. Oh, good gods. Oh, that was a good one. But yeah, I mean, one of, one of the great things about any number of mythology stories is how many actual Chad moments you find in those. Yeah. Most of them are actually moral lessons, too. Uh, also well, we were, we were talking about Norse mythology, and the one that comes to mind most for Chad moments to me is Odin literally nailing himself to a tree and ripping his eye out in order to get smarter. Uh, he doesn't nail himself to a tree. He rips his eye out in order to be allowed to drink from the Well of Wisdom. And he, ah. he doesn't nail himself to a tree. He takes his spear, impales himself to the tree, to the tree, to become uh, more wiser. Now, uh, could one not describe a spear as just an oversized nail? <laughs> you could. You kind of could, yeah. So, yes. uh, a, a nail with bells and whistles. It was. It was essentially a metaphorical nailing himself to a tree. Yeah. 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 But he sort of ended up. He didn't really die, but he got a view into the afterlife of the gods. Seeing his brothers, his father and mother. His ancient father, who nailed apparently a really hot uh, Jotun chick. <laughs> Isn't that a... Okay, we'll, we'll leave that particular... No, that, that's the thing, though. For every... That's every Etten is usually just misshapen and an abomination. However, oh, okay. like, one in every 10,000 or 1,000 is insanely hot, apparently. Wow. Yes. Student of History says his choice is when Gilgamesh and Enkidu killed Ishtar's Bull of Heaven. And when she came to lodge the complaint, they ripped its leg off, threw it at her, and said she's next if she doesn't get the fuck out. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. 
Oh, uh, Earl is referencing uh, how Thor was drinking from, I believe it was Utgard Loki's horn. And yes. ended up drinking some of the ocean and brought it down so far that he created the tides. Oh yeah, that's the that's the third one. Thor had to do three challenges. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, and the thing about every challenge that uh, Utgard Loki made for them were so unfairly stacked against them, and yet they managed to actually get pretty far. Because Loki is the fastest eater of the gods, so he was pretty confident, right? But then he had to eat against someone who the physical the embodiment of fire, and he lost, of course. And everyone was just knocked down a peg. Everyone was dejected and sad and depressed because they were just beaten in everything they thought they were best at. And it's like, haha, I trolled you, and just poofs away like a dick. Ugh, Udgar Loki was a dick, but still. Uh, Thialfi. Is that the name of the boy who injured the goats? Ah, yes, that's it. Yes. Pretty sure it's him. Because uh, uh, Thor can... Uh, yeah, yeah. The magic... Uh, Thor's hammer is, has this uh, nifty little ability when if you're the one who strikes them down with the hammer, you can use the hammer to resurrect them. Oh, excellent. Yeah, so he could bring his goats back every time he killed them. As long as he oh. didn't hurt the bones or the skin. Of course, uh, the little boy ended up... Uh, he really liked the marrow within the bones. So he cracked up one of the bones and ate the yeah. marrow, which made the goat yeah. limp. Yeah, during the meal, the trickster Loki, who was always up to no good, convinces the boy Thialfi to break one of the bones and suck the sweet marrow out. The next morning, when Thor brought the skin outside and revived the goats, he noticed one of them was limping, got furious, and demanded to know who had snapped it. Delphi admitted that it was him, and as a punishment, he and his sister Vroskova. Vroskova? Am Pretty I much. close with that one, Trent? Okay. The <coughs> excuse me. Norwegian makes me cough. <laughs> came the servants of Thor and his family. It is unknown which of the goats was hurt or if the limping became permanent. Cool. I really like Norse mythology. Uh, Earl weighs in <clears throat> with the frost Jotun deserved the genocide. Uh, so we, apparently we do uh... final solution. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently we do not touch the goat of the god. Yes. Uh, well, it's probably a good idea not to do things that the god tells you not to do. Uh, exactly. Uh, Unless you're maybe. Loki. If you're, if it's Loki telling you, then ignore him, ignore him, and ignore him. If it's anyone else of the gods, just do what they say and just don't question too much. Trim, are are you turning our Nomi the home or Homie the Nomi into a red cap? I mean, do you want me to turn him into a blue cap? No, I'd I'd rather a red cap because uh, red caps are metal as fuck. Yeah, they are, you and know, the, they they kind of kill you. Red caps, right? Yeah, they kill you and then dip their caps in the blood. They keep their caps red by dipping them in fresh blood of their victims. Yes. We actually have a substantial red cap lore here in Newfoundland that's Ooh. carried over from the old countries. Though that's more of a is is it is that a northern fairy? Is that sort of a English? It's, yeah, it's kind of more of an English fairy tale. But, uh, you know, the gnomes do tend to be d depicted with red hats. So well, maybe we shouldn't sh screw with the gnomes too much. <laughs> no, you never screw with the gnomes because uh, if you piss off the gnomes, they're going to start fucking you over. They're, they are the protection bracket of the ancient days. Uh, Total Blackout Painting references the Adam West Batman, but I'm not quite sure if he's behind on the stream or what. Mm. And I'm not sure what Earl is referencing with the phrase the Hildefolk. Hildefolk? Where? Yeah, I'm thinking that's probably an English thing as well. That's interesting. Oh, Vo uh, Wotan is actually one of the old names for Odin. Uh, yeah, it's a cognate. Yeah. Kind of a similar, not necessarily the same. Yeah. But probably related in terms of the, uh, the traditional stories and things. That's close to it. Wot Wotan also is the... Uh, the chief enemy of Dr. Fate in the DC comics. <laughs> Wotan is also the German name of the the, key, the god of the, the German. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, Norse mythology started off in Germany, as so many other mythologies did. Uh, it's the high German name for Odin. Sorry, yes, Earl is right. It is, in fact, high German is Wotan. Yes. In uh, English, it would be Wode or Vod. And we just call him Odin, in, uh, Odin in Norwegian. Yep. Odin. 
Which is a very common name, actually. It's actually one of my favorite Scald songs as well, is Odin. Yeah. <laughs> but what I really like about the Norse god is that they aren't just, haha, we're almighty, indestructible gods. They're just pretty much just people with a lot of power. Sort of like sorcerers or mages. Yeah, they're more like hero figures, which is really cool. They are, and I love them for it. Which is why I'm oh, why I've always been a big fan of them. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. I can uh, turn it blue. It's a badass later. Papa Smurf, but it's yeah. still a Papa Smurf. <laughs> if you don't pay your bracket, I'm gonna smurf you, boy. <laughs> I'll cut you down to three apples high. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Do, 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 do. See, how much time are we at now? Uh, oh I shit, we're almost two hours. An hour and a half. Oh, yeah. oh 141, yep. Yeah. Uh, Base Ape says he's planning to call his firstborn Odin. Which I approve. Cool. I approve of this. Uh, Earl Testicocles is going a slightly more militant route and going with Tyr or Tew. Yes. I also approve. I mean, it was a. Uh, uh, before I decide to, that my if I ever get a kid, I'm gonna call him Sindri for personal reasons. But if I should choose one of the Norse gods, it would most likely be Heimdall. 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 Okay. Basically, he's the most no nonsense of the gods, and he never really fucks around with anything. Also, he's one of the most dutiful and loyal of the gods. I yeah, and, um, I would have considered Balder, but uh, I don't want to. Balder is pretty. Balder is pretty much the pretty boy and the the softy of the group. Though of course, compared to a regular person, he wasn't a wuss. It's just compared to every other god, he was pretty soft. Yeah, yeah. People I like, like to you. Yeah, I mean, out of the pantheon of Norse mythology, he was the thing that can get the closest called a twink. But then again, we're talking about the guy that when he figured out he was immortal, he was like, hey guys, hit me with a fucking axe. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Well, yeah. come on, wouldn't you? I, I like that. I like that. <laughs> yeah, the thing is just like, the god figured out, hey, he can't be killed. He's immortal. Yeah, I know. Cool, right? Hit me with something. <laughs> um, as there is a, a very common uh, tomboy uh, uh line in my blood uh i would probably if i had a firstborn daughter be likely to name her shofen after the uh, norse goddess of the hunt uh that could work at least i think i have that right you also have scotty scotty is also a huntress goddess former yeah, Jotun, actually I, I would avoid that one because of how close it is to scotty and i wouldn't want to have a daughter who got saddled with a boy's name <laughs> Though Skadi in Norwegian is Skada. Skada, which is uh, oh, actually okay. injury. <laughs> uh, Prime Knight is mentioning Ul, I think, is the male hunting god. I think it's Ulr is, is who you're thinking of. Ulr. Yeah, there you go. Earl already corrected him. Yeah, Ulr because of how you have to turn everything with a hard R at everything. Don't know why. Uh, okay. But uh, drop the R's and you got something pretty close to how we pronounce them, like uh, Jormungandr is just Jormungand. Oh, okay. He's a certified fucking badass. Jormungand? Yeah, he's the, uh, Midgard Serpent. The world Serpent, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. The World Serpent, and the biggest of his kind, where Nidhogg is basically just playing second fiddle. <laughs> and, uh, I Oh, Trim, apparent, apparently, uh, we schedule for the 18th of November. Ah, that won't be able to do. Uh, I am on the boat then. Yeah, we, we will check uh, another date. Yeah, it's uh, between tomorrow and the day after tomorrow, these next two days. That's the only time I'm able to do anything. Yeah, we, we, we will talk about that. Yeah, sorry. Hey, okay. I, I, I'm, I'm used to your failure. Thank you. Oh shit! What? <laughs> what was that noise? Uh, you you have a subscriber. Oh, just subscribe. Thank you. 
Holy shit. Uh, this is Medjur, if I recall correctly, has been kind of stalking all of the Sultans of late. <laughs> so, thank you very much. It's nice to see you. Thank you, and welcome to the party. Yeah. The Arden party! Sorry, I just had to. <laughs> uh, it's okay. Yeah. I'll get you for that later. Yeah, you already have. Pain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Good times. Yes. I, uh, I, I can easily get you for that by pointing out that you're unaware that Mark Twain was actually the guy who created the Smurfs. What? No. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna say anything. This. I'm not gonna say anything. Uh, no, no, I, I couldn't. I, I couldn't maintain that as a as a serious thing for more than a few seconds anyway, Christopher. So you weren't really stepping on it. I, I heard the bullshit when he said it. Okay, I I I might not know who he the, was, the... or rather, I didn't know his works. More like okay. I knew he was. I knew it was a big guy. I knew it was a thing. I just didn't know all his works. Ah, fair. The, because... the Smurf, uh, by the way, are also uh, a French, uh, Belgian thing. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, really? That explains this reaction. <laughs> Aren't they called? Uh, oh? Is it late Trumpf? In uh, uh, yes, in, in French, it's called Strumpf. Strumpf. Okay. That sounded fucking German. Sounds like a drum beat. Strumpf. No, like like uh, Strumpf, Strumpfgewehr, Strumpfgewehr, basically their, it's their, it's their machine gun, Strumpfgewehr, or some shit, I don't know. Please stop, stop taking fr French or other thing and say this is from your country because oui, we oui. Belgian have so few things, please. Oui, oui, hon hon. Base Dave says what? Ernest Hemingway created the Smurfs. <laughs> you got the monkey. Even Hemingway drank that much. Oh boy. Uh, uh, Total Blackout Painting says Marius, the Polish dude, did MMA. He was one of the greatest WSM champs of all time. Uh, I've complete. Oh, okay. I see. Uh, Total Blackout is is behind a fair bit. He's down to the strongman discussion we were having. Oh. Uh, he's talking about. Marius was one of the strongmen who ended up going into MMA, and he was one of the greatest, uh, uh, world's strongest man champs of all time. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, speaking of uh, unusual competitions, I don't know if you guys have ever watched any of the Lumberjack competitions? Uh, not really, no. I Those don't even know what you are talking exciting. about. Those are incredibly exciting. They're just regular guys who spend all their time chopping wood, showing how well they can chop wood. Hmm. Well, you do seem like the man who likes to watch men handle their wood. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I should have known better than to bring up this topic. <laughs> Come on, you did the Mark Twain thing. I had to. Fair, fair One fair. low blow deserves another. Yeah, it's just bants. <laughs> yeah, I know, but still, low blows are good blows. What? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> you heard me. I heard you. I just hope my girlfriend didn't. <laughs> hey! Hey, Arden's girlfriend! Low blows, they're good blows. <laughs> I'm never gonna live that one down. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> uh, What's worse is she's probably watching the stream. <laughs> <laughs> Poor woman. Yes, yes. It's bad enough she has to date me, and now she has to listen to this. <laughs> what? Well, very classy. Uh, Earl is asking if uh, we've seen the Russian female ass slapping competitions. I have, in fact. Wait, what? Uh, those are those are quite entertaining. Uh, the girls attempt to slap each other in the ass as hard as possible. It's a Russian thing. Yeah. Huh. Because it, of course, it's Russian. Nice. Yeah, assume that history is uh, is referencing the lumberjack competitions. Uh, the yeah the um, oh my, I forget exactly what it's called, but the one he's referencing is basically they cut a notch, drive a, a standing plank into it, stand on the plank, cut a notch, and keep going up the tree. Ooh. Oh, that it's, one! Uh, That's pretty cool. I've seen oh, something yeah. similar in Norway once. Yeah, it's probably very common all over anywhere where there are uh, forestry uh, industries. Yeah, well, that makes sense. I was one in a, I was once in a farmer's show, uh, or sort of like a market, but there was farmers around bringing their machines, their goods, and all that shit. And there was a bunch of people who have made their own chainsaws, and one guy. 
had converted a car engine into a chainsaw. Oh, dear God. The blade was two meters long. It was fucking awesome. Two men had to carry that thing, and they cut a tree down with it. It was glorious. Yes, and I imagine it was extremely loud. Do you happen to remember what size of engine they were using? Uh, I don't know. Was it a four-cylinder or an eight-cylinder, for example? It was not a V8. Uh, I think it was a... It's a V... I don't know if it was a V4 or V6. Okay. It may have also been a straight or any number of other things. Only thing I knew, it made a lot of noise, and then it made a tree fall down. It was fucking awesome. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I can imagine it would make a tree fall down. And it was a big tree, too. Of course, I was really small at that point. Well, I mean... A two-meter chainsaw bar is going to go through a tree that's probably a meter and a half or more thick. Yeah. So, yeah. I think it was two meters. It might be a bit shorter to, like, one and a half, maybe. I'm not 100% sure. I was a kid back then. Yeah, fair. But then you also had the uh, following competition where everybody took a, a piece of wood, like a log. A stump, more like. Uh, and then made a chair out of it. With a chainsaw, oh, only. Nice. It was cool. Oh, wow. Carving competition. That's yes. Cool. Yeah, I, uh, when I lived in BC, I, I met a few guys who did chainsaw carving, and s watching some of those guys work is just glorious. I mean, you can see, the people do it on do it with ice sometimes, and it's really fucking cool, too. Yeah. yeah, I've seen it done with ice, I've seen it done with, uh, with wood and everything, too, and I mean, like I say, some of those guys are such artists... And then to see the speed at which they work is just amazing. I know. Fucking hardcore. Let's see. Should I just make the belt book? Nah, I'm gonna make that gold because fuck it, fancy and shit. Hmm. I was thinking something like gold or brass colored. Yeah. Makes sense for the belt buckle. Yeah. And then I'm gonna make the the glasses, or at least rims of the glasses, that too. Anybody have an idea what pad colors the pants should be? Because I'm thinking well, dark well blue. Go. Yeah. No. So I'm no. As well go. no. What's Christopher? No. Doing? No blue. No. No blue and no. No cold color. Because if he's uh, like a, a blood um, gangster, yeah, you, you should go to hot color, oh, like okay. red, orange, uh, maroon, maybe, may, maybe yellow. Yeah, you could do like a make them chinos and make them like a khaki color. Mm. Khaki? Uh, it's kind of a light beige. Oh, yeah, okay. Like brown, brown, green, something like that. Uh, yeah. you know, I can try. Uh, a bit, a bit like uh, military um, clothing. Ah, all right, all right. All right. Hmm. Yeah, we'll, we'll yeah, the get olive, it. olive drab would work. Let's see. I don't think gnomes like green because whenever they turn to a guard gnome. And uh, yes, uh, total blackout. It's Pio who created the Smurf. So Trim. Yes. Uh, my, my girlfriend is in fact watching the stream. Hello. And just messaged me. <laughs> <laughs> and she's actually. My deepest condolences, uh, Mrs. Uh... <laughs> Hello, Arden's girlfriend. Yeah. yeah. The misses. The misses. <laughs> <laughs> um, so she is quite fond of this image and is curious as to whether, uh, what you would charge for something like this, and uh, if you could make a female version. That would be possible. With or without beard? <laughs> With know. beard! Like, my regular prices are on my Ko-Fi, and it would be like, uh, fully colored. Uh, speaking of, I will go and hunt down your Ko-Fi link. I'll send yeah, it. I'll, yeah, I'll, 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 lady. <laughs> uh, I, I, have, I have it. I'll, I can fix it myself. Let's see. Yeah, yeah better if you do. It's not uh, auto filling for me. There you go. Uh, and Oop. Monkey says, you poor, poor lady. Up yours, Monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Earl says, hello, Arden's lady friend. It's very nice of Earl. So. And Blackout has finally gotten up to the point where I mispronounced or misspoke and said Solomon instead of Samson. Yeah. Uh, he is way behind. <laughs> Poor man. Uh, and, uh, yep, I will steal that link and pass it across to the other chat. Yes. Uh, she says, without beard for the female. Without beard. All right. 
Nissemor. Bad choice. <laughs> well, it's not it's, a dwarf. It's, it's a it's, it's a gnome. Not a dwarf. No. Yeah, it's exactly. a Sam. It's a little. Oh, bit. oh that's it's racist, that. bro. That's racist. <laughs> that's specious, you bastard. Ah, fuck! How dare it's you? I, I thought like better. Belgian is the thing. Well, no. technically though. They are, they are the same, you know, family tree or something. They are little person, so build. Uh, I, I am uh, denouncing uh, what this hateful Belgian is saying. Why you don't trust random women. <laughs> uh, oh. Blacko says he still has to do another interview. Oh, okay, for the job. Excellent. Best of luck, Samson. I'm going to message Total Blackout directly. No, Total Blackout, Blackout. I mean, fuck. God yeah, damn it, now I'm confused with me. significantly behind. Get on our I level. By 1.5 or 2x <laughs> speed. Doody doody. Ah. Good boys. Then girls, I can't be sexist now, can I? <laughs> well, you could be, but, you know. Or maybe I well, am, I'm just really good at hiding it. To be fair, none of us here is really going to judge you over that. That's fair. Mm. Let's see. And I do kind of agree with Christopher, the, uh, the cold colors like blue and such probably don't really go well with the theme of, of a crypt. Nah. Or a yes. blood, rather. Nah, well, let's, uh... Yeah. Let's go with what you guys but said, because I... I, I think I understand about. what you're doing here. You're using that dark blue in place of a black, so that makes sense. Yes. Yeah, for for the for the glasses or the shade or something, it's okay. Very much. But for for the clothing, yeah, you should go for more hot color. Yes. As well as the eyes, I'm waging to... You should also maybe do a bit of, you know, some scars or something. Oh, that will, uh, I'll add that later. Yeah, and tattoos. Uh, I'm also. thinking you'll probably put some tattoos on the forearms, things like that. Yeah. Adding that later, I'm thinking. I'm just gonna figure out what the fuck kind of tattoos I'm gonna give this shit. <laughs> Earl says he feels like Smurfette was a huge hoe. Um... <laughs> I mean, he was the only lady Smurf in the village, okay? Hmm. Hello, Stormy. Nice to see you. Hey! Welcome to the stream. Hope you guys are having fun. Or at least uh, coping with the retardation I bring on a daily basis. I have uh, something for you, Trim, about tattoos. Hey, just link it to me on the Discord. Let's see. Let's, let's get on the pants. Let's get on his pants right now. Let's get right in his pants right now just to check out how it turns out. At this point, Trim's Art Shack's administration would like to point out that we are not responsible for the comments made by the artist in question. <laughs> Quote, unquote, artist. <laughs> oh, no. I will absolutely prevent you from doing that to yourself. You absolutely deserve the title. No! Of artist. better artwork than I could ever hope to do. So oh. suck it up and take the compliment, Buttercup. God damn it! <laughs> I was about to say you can't make me, but unfortunately, I can't stop you. <laughs> yes. And I can actually, well, I don't think I can server mute you on this one, but I will try. I swear to God, if you mute me, I'm going to fucking kick your ass. <laughs> oh, Total Blackout says he didn't realize it was live. Well, or it wasn't live. Excellent. Okay. Huh. Um... Welcome to the future, Total Blackout. How is the past? Welcome to the world of tomorrow. It's just that shit that the tech to the world of yesterday. Just as crappy as yesterday. Yep. Uh, nah, okay, I'm not going to be too nihilistic. The future's kind of bright, to be honest. Yeah. yeah, and the fun thing is I can't actually mute you if I want to, Trim, but I won't. Yeah, I mean, it would be kind of funny to have me muted on my own goddamn stream now, wouldn't it? Yeah, well, that's that's the kind of thing Bezik would do, and I'm not Bezik. <clears throat> he's not, and he's not here to defend himself, so I will continue to give him a hard time. Oh, well, keep on going. Back. I thought it was it... Bezik popping in to tell me to knock it off. <laughs> knock it off! <laughs> hey, at least it's bleach. 
which is not okay, Bezik, I'm... meaning that this is still the Bezik abuse stream. <laughs> yes. Are, are, how are we disaffecting uh, Bezik now? Are we turning him into a uh, a tomboy? Nah, we're not doing the gender bending here. That's gay. No. no and I don't, exactly. I don't play that way. I, I think we should come up with the uh, the tallest tale of horrible things that Bezik has ever done to someone. And uh, just spread utter lies about the man for a little while. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, so he's from Australia. He's most likely broken several human laws by just existing. Well, I mean, I this one time he was arrested for buggering alligators, but I don't know if it's true. Ah, <laughs> uh, see, that's where you're wrong. It was crocodiles. Yes. Ah, that's right. Crocodiles in Australia. I mean, he does. He does say repeatedly he has a death wish, and you know, but still, every time he survives, and sometimes the crocodiles are still sad because you don't call them back. <laughs> well, I mean, he keeps spreading that drop bear chlamydia amongst their population, so that's that's really the problem. Yeah, that would uh, that would explain a few things, that wouldn't it? Uh, a few? I think that explains everything. Yes, you well, we can't say that here. In Australia, there's some guy just randomly here walking past a house and hearing, "What the hell are you doing?" <laughs> Sadly, that's the talking alligator or crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> you just hear Bethic laugh his fucking goblin laugh in the background. <laughs> oh, so his normal laugh. <laughs> yeah, well, kind of, sort of, maybe. <laughs> Best part is he can't even fucking stop us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Face tape, I am not saying that on stream. I'll let uh, him do it. <laughs> let's see. <laughs> okay, I can neither confirm nor deny, but I don't see any proof against it. Just saying. I mean, it, it's it's true. If they're not here to defend themselves, it has to be true. Yes, basically. I mean, uh, and it, today, before it was innocent until proven guilty, but we all know that today's rule is guilty until proven innocent. Hey, guilty until proven innocent is only an American thing. Oh, right. In no, Australia, you're not. guilty all the time. No, but... it's not. No, no, it's not. Is it a French Yes, it is. No, 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 no. In, in France and all, uh, you are you are very quick to be to be put in the case of uh, fascist, I, racist, I, uh, et cetera. Also, France, so again, in you're... France, it was guilty until proven Muslim. <laughs> yeah, also. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, I, I, I kind of want to do spicy jokes, but I don't want to do it on my channel because I want to try to keep so, uh, it a bit student mellow. Of history says, student of History points out that he's just saying that Bezik has a higher than average likelihood of seeing your Jormungandr and thinking, I'd have a go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean... Earl, Earl says he taught the Sami how to raise reindeer. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he does come from... He does have a history in New Zealand, after all. And, and there uh, isn't that much difference between a reindeer and a sheep. For animal husbandry, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just saying this. Uh, the Sami's relationship to the reindeer is something akin to the New Zealanders' relationship to sheep. Oh, so, so not nearly as advanced as the Australian. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> so they own a lot of pairs of Velcro gloves, is that what you're saying? <laughs> I mean, I, I like way. uh, I like basic comment like on OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> I I think that should be yeah, and I will throw it in uh, in chat. I think he means on Aussie only always no on Aussie fans. <laughs> Aussie fans. <laughs> Aussie fans. <laughs> Oh, my apologies, student. I did have... Uh, I, I thought perhaps you had thrown in a, a typo, but I was actually having a dyslexic moment. Yeah, you're, you're a gomo. Oh, yeah, you're a... Yeah, well, I mean, depending on how the upper part looks like, and as long as there's no well, spider head. Clearly. I mean, you know, yeah. have, you, have you seen... I Okay, I've seen a lot of different artist interpretations, and depending on one of them, as long as they don't fucking try to kill me... Well, that's really uh, about right here. You, you you should check on um, on Bezek if he's uh, still want to to smash or pass. I'm pretty, <laughs> sure, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure he would if the Yorogumo, it would be sort of like a seventy five uh seventy five percent smash every time. 
<laughs> I mean, he <laughs> lives in Australia. <laughs> Spiders don't freak him out. out. What? <laughs> <laughs> student of history is pointing out that Bezik has already pointed out he'd have a go on Shelob. Oh, oh yeah, he definitely, yeah, yeah. He'd, he'd definitely go for, uh, he'd, uh, he'd definitely uh, nail the Yorogumo. <laughs> Oof. Um, I, I, I think he's gonna change that to Helob at some point. But so. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> oh, he, he puts the he in Shelob. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, I'm not saying uh, yeah, no there's some really gorgeous art of Yorogumo but even so, no, sorry you can have your own go yeah, <laughs> it really I, doesn't I work had... if you're arachnophobic, but Listen. hey no, no, but Bezik's an arachnophile <laughs> uh, okay. I will I not uh, what give it I, I don't will... care what he thinks about ancient Babylon okay <laughs> I will not give him my book because there is a spider in my book and uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, isn't yeah, that spider one of the good guys? <laughs> yeah, she is one of the good guys. Uh, Earl Testicules says, uh, Vesic once hunted the mermaids to extinction, then single-handedly bring them back. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the lie? <laughs> no lie detected. <laughs> I mean, I can neither confirm nor deny. I can neither confirm nor deny. Yeah. Uh, Trim, if you're willing, I have a, a thought for your background there. Yeah. Uh, something along the lines of a gray concrete project. Yeah. Ah, Cabrini uh, Green. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try that out. I'm going to try it out. But I don't know. Should I try to make the background now, maybe? I'm, I'm, see, I, I'm, try I a new you... thing, Trim. Try a new thing. No, he's maybe, scary. Maybe uh, so find some photographs and throw those in the background. Yeah. So it looks photorealistic. Just, just Google okay. California and uh, copy it. Nah, Baltimore. No. Birmingham. No, no, no. Chicago. Chicago. Dude, I'm not yeah, gonna. It's not, I'm not gonna it's post not really... horror on my channel, Bleach. I'm not evil. It's, it's not. It's not I, really I'm... a blood place. Uh, it's more California, the blood. Oh, <laughs> you. I don't know. They're they're all over the place. Yeah, I know, but I more Santa in California. <laughs> well, it could it's be an international if organization. Spirit, you need to set that in Portland. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna see where I end. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna do as I always do with these. I'm just gonna fuck around until I find something out. Uh, well, well, find out. We know how that ends. Ah, uh, yes, the golden American rule. Fuck around and find out. <laughs> I like it. It's a good rule. I, uh, I I think I'm definitely going to have to give the, the winner of the Bash Bezik contest uh, to Earl for uh, <laughs> the story about how Bezik hunted the mermaids to explain. Yes, that, <laughs> that one is a yeah, solid fucking winner, and the thing yeah. is, I'm pretty sure it's true. <laughs> Until and, uh, we get it, proof, it, otherwise it is absolutely true. He did, he did hunt to wear uh, the mermaids to extinction and then freed them all back. Yeah. Well, um, I'm, here's I'm the sure thing. We have but, confirmation uh, otherwise, I think we should all harass him with questions about his uh, his mermaid girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> mermaid X. Oh, the, the the little spermaid. I mean, what? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> the little spermaid. What? Uh -huh. uh, the, the story the story goes like uh, he kept one or two for himself and then uh, he, he he gave them back to to the wild but no they're a bit retarded. Yeah. <laughs> they got they got NTR'd into submission. Every day at noon in Copenhagen Harbor you can hear ding 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 and people from all over the world ask is that the bells? And the locals go, no, it's some crazy Australian out there shagging the <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Nobody's telling them. We're not going to tell them. We're just going to ask them questions. Like, what did all those Australians have Aussie accents? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Prim, you have your revenge now for the drop bear. Oh, you guys are Don't. killing me. Don't oh, fuck yeah. it up. <laughs> That's right. Trim, you're forbidden to talk about this until you, you're on a stream with Bezik next time. Works for me. <laughs> we have to ask about the mermaid Bezik. What did you do? And and why are the why are they almost extinct? 
Yes. Yeah. Why do all the mermaids have Australian accents? That's gorgeous. <laughs> I love that monkey. That Why do they it. always punctuate every sentence with croaky? <laughs> croaky. <laughs> Truth. <laughs> oh, guy, <laughs> oh, you are worth your weight in the fucking gold. Uh, I'm, I, I guess I'm least uh, gold worthy, but I'll take it. <laughs> uh, well, you're American. You, you, you. I'm sure you have a share of the Fort Knox. Oh well, yes, but not me directly. I... Fort Knox up <laughs> what? <laughs> Total blackout painting wants to know why the mermaids call you cunt all the time. <laughs> <laughs> they get it from their father. They get it from their father, oh, I hear. Uh, and uh, at first I thought they were being rude, but I realized it was a term of endearment over time. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently, uh, Bleach, you have to teach uh, Trim again for, you know, American history because he doesn't know what to for not it. Huh? I didn't say uh, what? Huh? Uh, what? I, I, I didn't follow that. Belgian. Yeah, what do you say? Trim, does, Trim doesn't know what Fort Knox is. I know what Fort Knox oh, is. Oh, good lord. I know what Fort okay. Knox is. Jeez. You, sa you said what previously? I, uh, I was busy laughing my ass off at Art and Dennis uh, Mermaidery. Yes. Admit it, you, you went to Google to check for it very quickly. <laughs> oh, no. God. Monkey says he will pay you to make the next stream you do with Bez to be a mermaid cooking shrimps on the party. Oh! That could be done. That's worth it. That could be Man, done. The shade... And the Shade Master has returned just in time to take part in the bash... in the Bezic bash... Bezic Bezic. Uh, Bezic. We are inventing stories about how Bezic has gotten up to some interesting antics in history. Well, we uh, have uh, we have to talk so, about the mermaid retribution. Yes, so, so yes. far our favorite one is how he hunted the mermaids to extinction and then single-handedly bred them back into sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh... Seleucid. I was gonna say I don't remember committing a crime. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I made yes. a typo when I was hail fellowing him, and I, I hail felon him. <laughs> yeah. Hail felon. Greetings, felon of felony. <laughs> uh, no, Shade Master. He wasn't shagging manatees. We're we're talking full on mermaids. Manatees is more right. of a Columbus That's a Florida thing? man thing. Yeah, Florida isn't that a Columbus man. thing? No. Uh, potentially, but doubtful. Might be a very desperate Greek sailor with myopia thing. <laughs> oh, the Greek sailor has it. Alright. My bad. My unculturedness is showing again. Yes, yes. So, yeah, we'll yes. have to teach you about Fort Knox and Mark Twain. Yeah, Mark Twain first, but it's okay. basic has got that one covered. He promised. <laughs> I'm, but see, it doesn't have tales of mermaids, so I'm kind of doubting his ability. Oh, we'll figure it out. We'll just say there's a lot of mermaid tails in it. He'll get some mermaid tail if he does it. Oh, God. <laughs> Always chasing the mermaid tail. Oh, uh, Shade Master says he's at home if he wants to, if you want to add him in, Trent. Ah, sweet. Though we are significantly <clears throat> above your two hour limit that you were looking at, so if uh, you have. I mean, how far are we over time? the two hour limit? Uh, 15 uh, minutes or so? We can go a 15 minute more. Uh, uh, get uh, get in the uh, general, Shade uh, Master, and I'll uh, yeet you in. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeeted by a Norwegian. This, this sounds Actually, very... Uh, or not yeeted, more like yeah. dragged in, kicking and screaming. Yeah, same thing. Well, I mean, he did make the mistake to offer. At least I had the good sense to say, okay, I'm being shanghaied into this. <laughs> yes. Yeah, same here. I'm just doing yeah. the... U okay, what I'm doing to you guys is just the usual Sultan tradition, okay? Yes. So, harassment and abduction. Yes! Volunteering. <laughs> well, <laughs> yes. I'm volunteering you guys on my show. Boo and hiss. <laughs> Don't kick me off! Ah, uh, why would I save you from this? Uh, I don't know. Hail, Shade Master. Hey! hey! How's it going, gentlemen? It's it going pretty going. well. We're chronicling the crimes of humanity that Vesic is committing as he's not here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, Earl Testicules says Bezik once courted Joan of Arc. 
but a higher power spoke to her and convinced her that war was a better path. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, so that's why she wow. ended up being uh, burned at the stake. It was to get away from Bessie. <laughs> and here I just thought it was wow. French cruelty. No. Wow. Uh, crime. Yes, yes, base state crimes against Mermanity. Uh, I mean, <laughs> or or crimes against huge manatees. Well, I I, I guess I guess now we have to ask uh, Bezik where the hole is. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, he started off with dolphins in their blowhole, but uh, yeah, well, he got a bit does carried away. Count, does does that still count as a blowjob? Oh, yes, it does. Oh, I honestly think the first question we need to ask Bezik is why oh, all the mermaids suddenly have Australian accents. <laughs> the shit that you don't we really do have cloacas. <laughs> I mean, if we have to ask, do we really? Do it, we truly want the answer, my friends? Do we truly? Well, I mean. It's yes. like asking where it's like asking where monkeypox comes from, or how, like, how how children get it. It's just one of those things. Yeah, yeah. sort of questions we're not going to ask on Trim's stream because we don't want Trim to get yeeted. <laughs> this is my one and only reprieve from the horrors <laughs> of politics. Well, you—that was your first mistake. Yes, oh, inviting. Yes. You Inviting inviting the shade master on here, not expecting me to throw shade. What were you thinking? I mean, I don't. I'm, I'm okay with throwing shade. It's just depending on what kind of shade. Mm. Like a nice palm all of tree. It. A palm tree. Is nice. You you know you know I throw all flavors of shade. Yeah. The shade master I'm not, throw shade. Lemon I'm not a fan of the uh, bubble gum version though, or the artificial Lemon banana flavor shade. Raspberries. <laughs> well, it's not my fault. It's not. Look, I didn't tell you to go for the pride flavored variety of shade, okay? <laughs> and yet you delivered you... it. That's the worst part. <laughs> and you chose that flavor. That is what's wrong with you. Okay, guys, <laughs> guys, can you like take your relationship you status outside of here and then come back in? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, so, I'm a so proud so... straight breeder. <laughs> 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 Says, says the, the, the host of the stream. And calling us all Philistines. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's not that wrong, but still. <laughs> I mean, where's where's the lot? <laughs> I, I mean, I, I would say something against it, but I can't. No, Philistines, not Palestinians. <laughs> well, well, I mean, Philistine, Palestinian, eh. If you, if, you know, if you know your genetics there, uh, oh, I do. That. Believe me. If you know your eugenics, oh, I'm, I'm going to stop. The point that of one. the joke. I'm going to stop that one. I'm going to stop it right there because the thing is, I'm trying to avoid you guys from getting political because I am just too ready to just jump into this kind of shit myself. Uh, Grim, I've I've okay. received a, okay. another message from my lady, and she is curious if you could do street art for the background. I can try. No, I'm not really good at the whole tagging thing. You know, I, I was I was against the the gnome bulge here because the reason it's baggy is to just to hide the package. But if the package is a literal piece, yeah, yeah, you, you, you got me beat. Yes, yeah. <laughs> it got uh, me beat it... on that one. You like the package, well boy? <laughs> hey, is that a package that in your trousers or a deagle? Uh, yes, and uh, Celis said this pointing out to Prime, it was in fact the English, not the British at the time. Um, yes. Joan of Arc. Yeah, fair. Fine people. <laughs> there are very fine people on both sides of the English Channel. Oh, good God, no. Some of those people are <laughs> no. eating surrender monkeys. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, but th this is one case where white on white violence is justified. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We oui. yes. and if things keep going, no, I won't even bother. Don't no, please. I'll put that please in don't. chat so it doesn't appear in 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 YouTube's uh, transcript. Thank you, appreciate. It. <laughs> Meanwhile, the base Belgian's keeping quiet. Yeah, yep. he, he's too base for his own good. 
Hey Christopher, can you do a hon 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 wee wee? Oh merde. Oh okay, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> I do believe you just got sworn at in French. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's why I said fair enough. That's why I said was a solid French. No. <laughs> Student of history says, fun fact, the Spanish and Italians were considered white a hundred years before the French. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. I think Damn. that may be a Catholic thing, but I'm not 100% sure, and I really well, don't care. Well, okay. It, fun fact. We're, we're, we're going to break away from politics and go straight into history and the medieval, the, the medieval times. You want to know why the why Italy was not, like, quote-unquote, a major, like, military power during, like, the, the, the English and French and Spanish wars? The answer is because, simply, if you tried to invade Italy, everyone who invaded just became Italian. <laughs> you, oh yeah, you, I mean, you look could at the not. Goths and Visigoths. Yeah, yeah, you you could not. The, the Italians had so conquered the culture war that if you tried to invade, not only would they kick your ass in city states and their and their individual militias. If you actually conquered a piece of Italy, it never actually got conquered. Italy just you you just assimilated or died. You come to my territory, bringing your foreign shit. I don't think so, man. <laughs> okay, look. All, all you have to do is... What accent was that? I have yeah, exactly. no idea. Girl, but... Girl Testiculis continues to participate in the hashtag Bash Bezik. Yes. Bezik is the one that suggested the giant cod piece in Labyrinth. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I, I have it on good authority from a a, 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 a lady who dated da uh, David Bowie. That that mm. cod piece was the largest prop on the set. <laughs> Excellent. That, that's a true story. I, I actually know a, a black lady who who dated David Bowie back in the day. Mm -hmm. Did those very fun things. times? Did the rocket man come for her? My lady, she said she's laughing her ass off. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> Always good, especially when she's not in bed with me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Student of history validates the Shade Master's assertion. Everyone I like how I like how you speak about yourself in the third person. You know what? I I had to practice because I've had to change my uh, my internet personality like three different times in the past six months. Thanks, Susan. God yeah, damn you! Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> You're very welcome. Yes, uh, uh, our friend the Shave Master has been blessed with the uh, the glorious version of internet schizophrenia. <laughs> may, may I the shame master uh, will tell you what happens. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I don't even ask. Do it. Uh, Mon Monkey says uh, Bezik steals old ladies' hard-boiled sweets and replaces them with synthetic offers. Okay. Go ahead, Christopher. I know you want to drop something in here. No, no, no I already sent it to you. Uh, oh, uh, well. Well, all I have to say to base tape is that this explains Bezik's uh, penchant for wanting uh, mermaid puss. It, it's it's his familiar territory. <laughs> That's right. It's a little fishy. Ocean man <laughs> takes her by the hand and other things. Uh, choking the chicken of the sea is Bezik's pastime. <laughs> <laughs> See, the history. The only off-color moment is the Sicilian mainlander split. Yeah, and that's actually pretty funny because when the when the empire fell right and the here. yeah, um, look, it's student of history. It's not that the Italians have opinions about Sicilians. It's um, it's that when when the empire fell and everyone decided to regroup and you know restore the empire or maintain their identity, um, the artists, the politicians, the foo frus went up north and had their debates. Uh, the farmers and the soldiers went south and and said, "Fuck all that! We're just going to do our own thing on the on the peninsula." Then they got to the bottom of the boot, and some of the soldiers looked over and saw a party across on the aisle and said, "Huh, we can do that harder." They went over, and the parties never stopped. <laughs> party, party, party! That, you got a party, hardy. Uh, exactly. Uh. That 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 party on on Sicily has literally never ended. Um, and, and, 
<laughs> a, yes, a very, a very ardent party, very, very uh, ardent hearty party. So, yeah, that's. Uh, in, in, but you know what? If you look at Italy today, it, it's very funny because uh, you, you you hear about all, all these migrants coming across like the Channel in England, and in Sicily, uh, how spicy is this? How spicy is this gonna get? Well, let, let's just say that um, uh, the Sicilian ways haven't died, and if they don't like you, your boat just disappears and you vanish. Which is oh. okay, because most of their uh, immigrant papers just vanish with them anyway. <laughs> and that's why you leave the Sicilians alone. Yeah. Exactly. You, you, you uh, do not build the bridge to uh, Calabrian Sicily that just bad things will happen. And both the Calabrians and the Sicilians know, we don't want the goddamn bridge. We'll blow it up. <laughs> sort, of like the, sort of like the Athenians when they figured out that their uh, elections were rigged historically. Uh, kind of, but uh, a, a bit more aggressive just for the sake of, eh, you're not one of us. Yes. Now, hang on. Are we talking about Greek Athenians or American Ath Athenians? American Athenians. Oh, oh, good, good, good. Yes, no. yes, yes, yes. No, no, no. The, the American Athenians are a little more based. Yeah. Just a little yes, more based than the more. Greek variety. <laughs> well, I mean, they, they didn't uh, spurg out when... Oh, what was the, the term? For... Eh, sorry, my, my brain has gone full uh, corporate mode today, so never mind. My apologies, I had to go help an old lady across the road. Aww. Uh, so, <clears throat> how's Bezik? <laughs> <laughs> uh, when Bezik invaded Sicily, he was run out for offending their tomato god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, God, yes. Bezik, we love you, but uh, you deserve this. Well, it's just Bance. I'm sure he won't take it too personally. I mean, unfortunately, he should. Well, if the he thing does, is, though, he did. He was supposed. But... The thing about this is that he was supposed to be here from the beginning, but it's sort of like <clears throat> half an hour before his stream. Like, I got a dip. I'm exhausted. No, that's kind of fair, but you know, <laughs> whatever <laughs> happens on the stream happens. <laughs> and then what I got. Happens on the stream goes all over the place. Yes, what happens on the street happens Bezik everywhere. Banned in Italy for denouncing the flying spaghetti monster. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that that that's a lie. Bezik was not banned for denouncing this flying spaghetti monster. He was he was supposed to be married off by an old nanny and he did not take the recommendation. So, because he spurned an old woman who was trying to marry off her innocent granddaughter who was still a virgin, uh Bezik was deemed unworthy and run out of run out of the town. Spitting oh. <laughs> uh, facts here, I'm, my I'm, friend. Because he wanted left. mermaid puss. <laughs> exactly. He 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 couldn't take standard terrestrial puss. He had to go for the exotic fish under the sea. Oh yeah, cons the mermaid puss the mermaid puss is making me do things. Under the sea. Under the sea. <laughs> That's where he'll be. <laughs> Everything's better down where it's wetter. Under the sea. <laughs> That's the better best part. It's like, everything's better down where it's wetter. Take it from me. Yeah. No, no, no. If you, if you, if you want a dirty Disney song, try singing, um, uh, what, what, what is, what is the name of that song? What um, it's from Aladdin. A whole new world. It's the oh, um, a whole, a new, whole world. new world out of context. Oh, that oh, is yeah. the funniest shit I've ever listened to. Oh, yeah, it's no, just no, like no. Uh, some Christmas songs become kind of criminal when you listen to them. It's like, no, no, it's Santa Claus uh, is coming tonight. If you want to talk about sexually suggestive things that you can take out of context, and it comes to lines from a movie, you cannot do better than the Star Wars trilogy. In the first movie. Princess Leia looks up and says, and I and I quote, I don't care what you smell, you big ape, get in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, base also, ape has some chances with Princess Leia. Yes. Also, um, oh. how was that one? Ah, oh. You came in that thing? You're braver than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
let's see. Uh, although, okay, although we yeah. do, we, we do have to ask Vezik which is more dangerous, Atlantean puss or Wakandan puss. Oh, there is the the quote uh, when um, Luke when come, come to see Leia in the, the prison cell, like I are don't know, they are your dwarf or something. Yeah, yeah. Are you a little short oh. to be a stormtrooper? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> he's a grower, not a shower. Uh, what what if it's... he's more of a eunuch? Oof. Well, it's his fault for taking off the helmet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Trim, do you do a blackface? Uh, no, I'm doing shading, but he's kind of having his Canada arc right now. It's true. Yes, no. yes. His Trudeau face. <laughs> yes, it's true gnomes. Yes. Um, it, the, this is, this is what, the, this is what the gnome will look like before they go Sicilian. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, I, I found hey, the old what's the list. matter, you? I found the old list of top ten sexually suggestive lines from Star Wars Trilogy. Number ten was, get in there, you big furry oaf, I don't care what you smell. <laughs> Number nine, Luke, at that speed, do you think you'll be able to pull out in time? <laughs> <laughs> Number eight is, put that thing away before you get us all killed. <laughs> Number seven, you've got something jammed in here real good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, number six, aren't you a little short for a stormtrooper? Number five, you came in that thing you're braver than I thought. Number four, sorry about the mess. <laughs> number, th number three, look at the size of that thing. <laughs> uh, number two, curse my metal body. I wasn't fast enough. <laughs> and and the number one uh, sexually suggestive line from the original Star Wars movie is, she may not look like much, but she's got it where it counts, kid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, asinine, all asinine. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Vezek is suing Disney for stealing his idea of race popping the mermaids. <laughs> <laughs> he was busy of doing that himself, huh? Well, we still have to ask because I know we're crossing the, the two fandoms here, but I still want to know from Bezik. Which is worse, Atlantean or Wakandan puss? He has to know. <laughs> God I knows. Mean, we must, we must I, go I to the say, authority. Uh, you might be better off better asking one. him how the clock work, how, how the ticking alligator from <laughs> from Peter Pan is in bed. Tick, 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 tick. Well, I, I, I think we know, though, uh, yeah, because Wakanda is forever. Oof. Oof. <laughs> Pain. Oh. Ugh. Oh. All I have to respond to that is Inkwensu Ocha. I have no idea what it said, but I agree. <laughs> it's White Devil from the East Ventura movies. There you go. <laughs> is uh, Student of History asks if Bezik is officially the IRL interspecies reviewer now. That he is. Yes. That he fucking is. <laughs> Look, how else were we going to get the more degenerate Aussie version of Steve Irwin? Of Steve Irwin? I mean... This I'm going to ruin it. Crikey. I'm going to jump on its back. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I, I just see Bezik now. Oh, this is a lovely little one, isn't she? <laughs> you see that, you see that over there? You know, look at <laughs> <laughs> Don't die now. Oh, God. Oh, God damn it. Oh, man. I, I agree with Monkey. I haven't laughed this hard in a good while either. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. To avoid any issues with the YouTube, so I'm just going to do it like this. Uh, I might do a different background because I have no idea where I'm going with this so far. Just fucking around, really. Uh, apparently, Student of History has now nominated Bezik's new nickname to be Degenerate Steve Irvin. <laughs> Irvin sorry. There we go. Degenerate Steve Irvin. Can... can, can... <laughs> Oh, we, we need to figure out how to change that on the server. And the thing is, yeah. we can't. Uh, Bezik has the ultimate power. Yes, but yeah. can we do it temporarily yeah. is the question. Yeah, yeah actually. I'm not yeah. trying that one. I'm not trying that one. I'm going to go have a look and see what I can do here. Oh, boy. Well, I guess the time has run out, so I'm uh, finishing now. If you guys have any last-minute chills or thingies you want to do before we quit. Uh, well, I'm back. I just had to uh, 
tell Mrs. Uh, the Mrs. what size our air filter is. All right. So, Shilling? <laughs> yes. Yes. Starting uh, in, the, we're, the, we're, we're going alphabetically. So we're starting with Ardent. Uh, Trim, this will have a live chat replay, yes? Yes. Okay, then all the shilling that I needed to do got done pretty early on. So I will simply ask people to come and check out my channel and then follow links from there. Yes. All right, and then Bleach. Uh, I've got nothing for you. Check out Bleach's channel. It's fun. <laughs> Christopher Everard. I need money to work, please. Give him some love in his Kickstarter. He's making a bestiary. I really want to see that one made. So when he announces his Kickstarter in December, give him some love, okay? And someone is being in the in the live stream. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yes. <laughs> Uh, this is what I get for cleaning coffee cups in the uh, the break room. Oh yeah, I'm looking forward to this base. Just uh, send it to my DMs when you're done with it. Here. I, I want to save it for my computer. <laughs> I almost accidentally disconnected myself trying to screw with Bezik just now. <laughs> and of you, course, you sh Shade Master, your turn. All right, so go check out the channel. I'm making a new game based on Magic the Gathering. It's a role-play game. We throw shade, obviously. Uh, also, I'm working on a new system called uh, Myth and Merit, which is going to be reminiscent of a Skyrim tabletop game where your, your skill test roles are going to determine your character experience and your character build-out. That's also Ooh. coming. Lastly is, but lastly is the... Um, the new channel called the Storm and Mormon, where I recently did a debunking against the the LDS Church, uh, where Canada tried to simp for more tax dollars from the the church. So, um, go watch that. That was with me, Arden Party here, and Aiden Paladin, where we 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 go through this entire hit piece and just well rip it to shreds because it they it it was propaganda dialed to 11 uh unironically so yeah. go ahead take give that a look-see again sorry for uh, not being funny. able to join in on that one i wanted to but i was fixing that thing <laughs> yeah because uh um honestly the uh, aiden paladin was a last minute addition it was just supposed to be me and arden and uh but i was able to get aiden last minute like literally within the last hour before we went live and that was uh, her contributions were phenomenal. Man, I would love to chat with her. She's really good at what she does. Yes. Uh, so yeah, uh, those are my three shills. Uh, just uh, keep the channels alive. Hell yeah. And uh, yep. one last note for you, Trim. Uh, you have a review from uh, Mrs. Erdent. Um, she is very impressed and likes your work. Thank you very much. Oh, nope. wait, sorry. She was talking about me. She said you were trite. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I know I know what I'm capable of, and that's pretty awesome. <laughs> so, and well, now, I, I, I will shill one thing. I, I, I do have a Rumble channel that's a duplicate of YouTube, but go ahead. If you've got that, follow me there. I might be doing some exclusive videos in future when I'm not busy. And, uh, yeah, have fun with it, because yeah. I am. I will see if yeah. I can hunt that link down in a real hurry here. <laughs> I have, in fact, found it very quickly. Oh, good. Link it, because I'm about to shut this one yeah. off. So, uh, so uh, ask, ask Arden's lady if she's seen his wood yet. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going there again. We're again, I see. Again. I will not fall into that trap. It will time. be an incredibly funny stream when we manage to drag her onto this. <laughs> mm, oh, that poor, poor woman. You're formally invited. <laughs> <laughs> Soon we voluntold, kicking and screaming, like yeah. a manatee from <laughs> Bezik. <laughs> oh, oh. And with that, I want to thank you all for coming. Thank you all for watching, and uh, thank you to all my co-hosts for joining on this art stream. The gnome got pretty is going pretty well so far, and 
I'm going to keep working on that for the next stream. Don't know when that's going to be, but uh, eh, you never know. Have a nice one, everybody. Goodbye. Chatelet, y'all. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bleach out. Yo.